Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. Come on, Daisy, let's play some soccer. No! Molly, where did you get that shirt? Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I love SpongeBob. Yeah! It is pretty cute, I have to say. Where did you get it? I might want one. Uh, Daisy, get out of the road. Here comes a car. Oh, look. It's two losers. Hey, you ran over a soccer ball. Rude. O-M-G. That was so rude. Whatever, losers. <laughs> You'll never be a baddie like me. Um, uh, why would we want to be bad? That's, that's not very nice. Being good is nice. Oh, whatever with your stupid SpongeBob t-shirt and your silly clothes and your silly faces. Ooh. Whoa, she's rude. See you later, losers. Bye. Oh my God, Daisy, what are we gonna do? I don't wanna be a loser. We are gonna become baddies. Uh, I don't know about that. You know I'm not really into fashion and all that. Maddie, just try, okay? We need to fit in in Brookhaven, all right? All right, um, okay, um, yeah, all of my nerd shirts are pretty much not gonna work then. But look how adorable it is. Maddie, enough of the nerd shirts. Okay, let me type in baddie. I wanna see what comes up. No results found? Yeah, yeah Maddie, being a baddie means you have to figure it out for yourself. All right, maybe I should start with a face because, um, I feel like the face is better than look at my shirt though i look so cute as a as a nerd buddy which way to be a baddie's heel ah! guys i literally just put mean girl into the search and um everything i was looking for just came up so what's that say about being a baddie guys um that they're mean all right look at this face guys oh i have, do I have to buy it i think i have to buy it 65 dollars to be a baddie okay worth it totally worth it here we go guys now I'm gonna have the bad face. Oh my gosh! Buddy! You look so different! Daisy, what's going on with your hair right there? That's really weird. You should usually get rid of that hair for sure. Alright, guys. Now I'm gonna go in and get some baddie hair. Let's get, oh, first I have to remove my other hair. Do not laugh at me, guys. Okay, don't laugh at me! <laughs> um, okay. Can I put in like mean girl hair? I'm gonna try it. Mean girl hair. Oh, we came up with stuff, guys. Like, look at this one. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I know for a fact that um, baddies definitely have to have giant eyelashes. I know because I've seen the girls at my school wearing these giant eyelashes. They're very important. Oh, God. Why did I say I was going to be a baddie with Molly? This is, like, such a bad idea. Um, It's a great idea. And look at my eyelashes. They're going to be amazing. Wow. All right, guys, let's try these ones. They're, like, giant. What? Why are they coming out of my eyebrows? Okay, that is weird. Let's try again. They're all coming out of my eyebrows. I may have to not have the eyelashes just because I don't know why, but they just look, like, really weird. <laughs> this isn't even over my eyes. Weird. Ooh, let's try this one. No, none of them work. Okay. Eyelashes are beautiful, just as they are, so whatever. I'm a good enough baddie. And if you don't think so, well, then you're not cool, and I am. All right, let's put in, like, mean girl outfits. Mean girl outfits and see what comes up. Good thing you can cheat at this and, like, put in mean girl outfits. You don't have to, like, know yourself. Like, some of these are ridiculous. This is, like, the Grinch. Like, look at this. <laughs> you're mean one, Mr. Grinch. Anyway... Um, why is that not clicking off? Oh, God, now I'm stuck wearing the Grinch outfit. Ooh. Seriously? No. No, no, and no. I need a baddie outfit. What's this one say? So fetch. <laughs> Old school. Um, all right, so I'm still looking for the best baddie outfit ever. Dizzy, I don't think that's the best baddie outfit. What do you know about being a baddie? Um, I'm pretty bad every time I don't do my homework, and that's, like, always, so, I don't know. I think I look adorable, though. Um, but what about, like, oh, my God, look, there's a book, there's a shirt that has burn book on it. Oh, that is so cool. Still not what I'm going to wear, though. Buddy, you take it forever. 
cool. Okay. Everybody, we're gonna speed this up. How's this, Molly? Uh, you look like a goth girl, but I guess that's okay. I mean, you look kind of bad. <gasps> but also, baddie is just like my look. I look amazing. I'm just saying. Whoa, Molly is all of a sudden like totally full of herself. She thinks she looks amazing. Uh, I do. So the first thing we need to do is have a car. Well, Molly, we don't have a car, just bicycles. Then I suggest that we borrow mom or dad's because, uh, yeah, we need a car. Let's go ask dad. Hey, who are you? And where's my pizza? Uh, if you're from DoorDash, then you forgot my pizza. Uh, dad, no, it's me, Molly. And to be Daisy. What? But... But you're my little girls. Where are my little girls at? Dad, we're dressed up as baddies. Wow. Dad? Dad, oh my God, that made him disappear. It freaked him out so much. No, I'm right here, spasming on the floor. You used to be little babies just yesterday. <sighs> I have a good idea. Let's make Dad up like a baddie. What? No, that's weird. No, it's not. Let's do it. Dad, do you want a baddie makeover? Um... <laughs> Dad, no choice. You're doing it. Oh, no. This is going to go badly. Ow. <laughs> Dad, that's so you. Um, ah. Dad, would now be a good time to ask you if we can borrow the car? If it means I can get out of these tight shorts, sure, and wipe this makeup off my face. Okay, Dad, fine. Um, ah! The washcloths are in the bathroom. There's some makeup remover in there. See you later. Come on, Patty Kitty. I'm in. Let's go. What are we going to do first? Well, the first thing we're going to do is go shopping because isn't that what baddies do? Yeah, but we have no money. What are we going to do about that? Um, We're going to go to the bank and rob it. We're baddies. Turn around. Marty. What? It's just Roblox. Come on. Live a little. OMG, Molly is about to go rob a bank. Molly, no. Molly and Daisy are about to go rob a bank. Now let's go. Daisy, put the pedal to the metal. This is a sports car, not a granny car. Sorry, Molly. She was your bossy as a baddie. <laughs> let's go blow up the safe. Now, where is that explosive that I was going to use to open this door? Why did I forget my backpack? I guess baddies don't carry backpacks. Molly, we could just use the key card to open the door. Where'd you get that? I stole it out of the desk. Hey, you didn't let me in. There you go, cheapos. All right, can we use that to actually open this? Um, not really sure. I've never robbed a bank before. Let's try it. Nah, we're going to have to blow this part up. Kaboom! Uh, Molly, I think we should probably stand back. Holy guacamole! We're gonna blow up the safe! This is gonna be amazing. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I just robbed stacks of cash! Money, get in before the police get here! I'm such a baddie, they can't even catch me. Daisy, what are you doing? You're the driver. Hurry up! Before we get caught! We're so bad that we're gonna drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow, that's super great. We'll get in a car crash, and then we can't be baddies anymore. Oh, whatever, Molly. So, should we go shopping, or should we just be, like, rude to people? Isn't that what a baddie does? I say we try being rude to people, but I don't know. I'm pretty nice, so probably we can. Let's go to the library and pick our nerds. <gasps> yeah, that's what baddies do. Look at all my money. Look at, look at my lipstick. Look how rude I am. Nerd alert, nerd alert. I don't actually know if I can, like, say that because normally I wear a Spongebob t-shirt and, like, this feels so out of my personality. But here we go. <laughs> Hi, you want to read a book with me? Uh, want to, um, not be such a nerd? Was that a good insult? Yeah, Molly. Look at all our cash. We're rich baddies. <laughs> That's cool, but do you want to read a book with me? What are you, a robot? Is that all you know how to say? Sorry, you guys are just so pretty that I can't even think straight. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We are so pretty. Yeah. Molly! Sorry. <laughs> this baddie had a bean burrito for lunch. Molly, baddies don't fun. Um, correction. 
Everybody farts, right, nerd? That's right! It's a human being thing! Everybody farts! <laughs> you seem like a dream girl to me! I like bean burritos! Oh, you smell a little bad, though. <laughs> Not a chance! You couldn't get with me, nerd. I'm amazing! And I'm a baddie! I'm a baddie! Come on, Daisy, leave the nerd alone. Come on, Daisy, let's go get some Starbucks. Um, baddies always drink Starbucks, and um, they get an extra um, large latte, and it's so good because they get extra foam on the top. Yeah, that sounds delicious. We have so many stacks of cash, we could buy a thousand of these. Well, 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 what do we have here? <gasps> what? Baddie competition? I don't think so. I'm the biggest baddie in Brookhaven. Not anymore, Steph. Now I'm the biggest baddie. Wait a minute, am I a baddie too, Hugh, or not? Yeah, you could be a baddie, but wait a minute. You, Molly and Daisy, the losers. You were wearing a SpongeBob t-shirt earlier today. Where did you get this makeover? It's called Roblox, you can be anybody you want. And right now, I'm a baddie. Look at my hair, look at my face, look at my eyelashes, look at my lips, look at my outfit, look at my car, look at my money. I'm way baddier than you. Uh, Molly, I uh, don't think that's the way English. Stop sounding like a nerd there, nerdy baddie. <gasps> Molly, how dare you say that to me? Uh-oh, this is going to be a baddie fight. Oh, no, here he goes again. <laughs> Will you go out with me? I don't mind farts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are real baddies. The school nerd is, like, wanting to date you. Well, Molly, he sounds like your soulmate. Oh. Daisy, be quiet. He doesn't sound like my soulmate. No, we're, we're, get out of here. We're not dating. You're so dreamy, buddy. Um, no, 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 and no. Ah! I don't think you're a baddie at all. Looks like all the nerds love you. Well, maybe we should have a competition to see who's the baddiest of all. <gasps> uh, Molly, I'm pretty sure that Steph's gonna win. We'll find out. We'll find out. Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Let's see what they say. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they say. Hello? What do you think? Am I an awesome baddie or not? Ha ha ha. Uh, no. What? Uh, but I look amazing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One point for me. What do you think? Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Okay, she doesn't care. All right, let's go ask other people in Brickhaven if they think I look like an awesome baddie. Uh, I don't know what you got going on there, girl, but okay, here we go. Um, am I an awesome baddie? I mean, I know you got wings and stuff, so you're cooler than I am, but here we go. Am I an awesome baddie? Hey, where you going? We're still talking. Okay. Let me go ask them. Am I an awesome baddie? <laughs> Come on, answer me, please. Am I an awesome baddie? I need to prove to this um, bully that I'm actually an awesome baddie. Anybody? Anybody answering? They think you're a loser. That's not what they're answering. Look at this girl. She looks like another baddie. So I'm going to go ring her doorbell. I'm going to ask her if she thinks I'm an awesome baddie. Hello? Is anybody home? I need you to prove that I'm an awesome baddie. Okay, I'm not sure anybody's home there. Um, let's go down the street and see if there's anybody else home that I can ask them. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Am I an awesome baddie? Come on, you better answer. There, whatever you are, fairy. Um, just answer. <laughs> she thinks you're a loser. She doesn't want to talk to you. Am I an awesome baddie? You better answer. If you don't, I'm just gonna tell you, you smell. You smell! Okay, this is... This is what this is what you would do if you were a baddie and they weren't saying what you wanted. Stinky. <coughs> Who farted? <laughs> He's not saying anything. Are you even in the game? Am I a baddie? Huh? Huh? You gonna talk to me? Huh? Are you gonna? Please, somebody talk to me! No, you're a fart? Okay, well, I guess I sort of deserve that since I've been talking about farts in the server like for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> Hey, aren't I the best baddie ever? Like you've ever seen? What's a baddie? What, do you live under a rock? A, a baddie is me! Aren't I the best baddie ever? Just say yes, just say yes. Please say yes! Hey, I'm the bestest baddie ever, right? 
You can be anything you want. That's right. I'm the best baddie. Sam, Sam, I'm the best baddie. Sam, the best baddie. Come on. I need to win this competition. I just need one person to say, I'm the best baddie. You're the best baddie. Yeah. I'm the best baddie. I'm the best baddie. Wait a minute. Dad? That's right, honey. You can be anything you want to be. Dad? <laughs> His opinion doesn't even count. Steph? Oh, man, Dad. This was supposed to be a competition. And, well, you don't count. What? Dear old Dad can't tell you're the best baddie? I mean, I was just the best baddie, so you have to be the best baddie, too. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Excuse me, Cece. Excuse me, Kendra. That's my locker you're standing in front of, and I need to get my book so that I'm not late for class. Uh, is someone actually talking to us, Kendra? Nah, it was just an annoying fly buzzing around. What? No, no, it was me. Excuse me. Move. You don't tell the baddies to move. You wait till we're done. Oh, um, gee. Oh, okay, I'll just try to squeeze by you then. Oh, that loser touched me. Well, if you'd move out of the way, um, you guys might want to move out of the way, though, because when I open my locker door, it's totally going to hit you in the head. What? This girl is so annoying. Come on, Kendra. Let's go check out our hair in the bathroom mirror. Yeah, totally. Ugh. The baddies at my school are, well, super, super bad. Whoa, my new school. Hopefully everybody likes me. <laughs> Come on, locker, open! Ugh. Come on. Okay, there we go, finally. This locker's been broken since the day they assigned it to me. Oh, hi! Are you a new student? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm not really sure where my locker is. It's number 122. Oh, that locker's right next to mine. Hopefully yours actually opens. Seriously? Will I have a locker that isn't open? That happened at my old school and like literally it made me so scared and nervous every day that I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff out of it. Yeah, that's how I was at the beginning of the school year, but don't sweat it. I kind of know a trick to get it open. Watch this. Um, are you supposed to be beating up the locker? Trust me, these lockers are really old. They deserve it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they just never work. They're, they're very naughty lockers. Open already. My name's Molly. Um, if you want, you can be friends with me. I could tell you who the baddies are in our school and who the bullies are and who the nice ones are and... Oh, thanks. You sound really nice, Molly. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your first class? Um, according to my paper, it says math. Me too. This teacher's kind of a snore. But don't worry. I'll be sitting next to you, so I'll make you laugh. Thanks, Molly. Sounds like we're going to be really good friends. I was really nervous that people wouldn't like me here. Or they'd make fun of my braces or glasses or or the fact that I like this shirt and stuff. Nah, look at my shirt. I've got a unicorn on it. Unicorns are awesome. <laughs> you really are funny. Come on, Alex. We don't want to be late. Yo, Cece. Who's that loser sitting by the other loser? Excuse me, um, my name is not Loser, it's Miss Loser. Turn around, your breath smells like a rotten egg. What? No, it doesn't. I used mouthwash this morning. Okay, well, your face is really annoying me. Um, uh, how can I have an annoying face? You just do. Sit down, Loser. Wow, the baddie club is, well, very mean. I noticed. I hope they don't see me and pick on me. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll bully you, but you get used to it. I know, right? That's what I said. I really like him. I hope he asks me to the dance. Okay, class, okay. Phone's away. Uh, you two in the back. You get rid of your coffee, you get rid of your cell phone, or you can meet me in detention. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. My teacher is so annoying. I heard that. Psst. Hey, you dork. Are they talking to me, Molly? 
Um, I'm afraid so, Alex. Yeah, you dork. Meet me at my locker at the end of this class. I want to see if you're baddie material. Sounds like they want to put you in their club. Wow, it's very elite. I know I can't be in it. Really? Wow, I get to be in the baddie club? That's amazing. Brittany, where were you? Sorry, Cece. I um was late for school because I overslept and... Uh, you weren't there in math class, and we have to see if this new girl is, well, <laughs> baddie club material. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Is she really material or not? <laughs> Wait till you see her. <laughs> You're going to have a blast with this one, Brittany. Uh -oh. I can't believe this girl is actually making us wait. What's her problem? Yeah, she doesn't make the baddie club wait. Who's that dork? That is the person we might be putting in the baddie club. <laughs> you are hilarious, Kendra and Cece. <laughs> this girl be a part of the baddie club? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm new here. <laughs> and I'm only going to have braces for like two years, so please don't tease me about them. I want to have perfect smile and... My dentist said I needed them and I need these glasses, but at some point I'm going to get contacts and I swear I'm much cooler than I look. I'm really nice. Uh-oh. Seriously, girls, this is almost too easy. Well, take it away then, Brittany. You are a loser. You could never be a baddie like us. Our club is very exclusive for the prettiest and baddest girls at Brookhaven High. What? Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to be in your club. <laughs> you could never be in our club, loser. Mm. Mm, I'm sure I can fit just one more slice in. Mm. This school pizza, it's delicious. Wow. Uh-oh. Why did I try to put that extra piece of pizza in? Oh! <laughs> Gotta make it to the bathroom! Oh! <laughs> um, uh, Alex, are you okay out there? Oopsie, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I know, my farts are kind of smelly, but um, you don't have to cry about it. You can just leave. No, it's that <laughs> the baddie club didn't want me to be in their group. Huh, what? They they said I was a loser. That's not very nice of them, but I guess I should have expected that. They're so rude. Don't listen to them, Alex. You're so nice. Don't listen to who? <gasps> Look at it. It's the new loser. Oh, she's so ugly and she's a loser. Hey, rude. You're a loser too. Get out of here. Alex, don't listen to them. I'm a loser. I knew it. Ugh. I have to help my new friend. I just have to. Well, well, well. You decided to come back another day to have the baddies tell you you're a loser again? Oh, I'm sure it is yesterday. Gross. Are you poor? Do you even have any money? I mean, how many outfits do you have? One. I just really like this shirt, so I got two of them for Christmas because I love them so much. Oh, this girl is such a loser, Kendra. <laughs> Not as big of a loser as I am. What? Who is that? Oh, look at their face. They're such a nerd, a dork, a loser. Molly, is that you? Who's Molly? <laughs> I'm Leonard. <laughs> um... Well, Leonard, you are the ugliest dork I've ever seen. Molly, what are you doing? Trust me, I'm just taking the attention away from you. Go be yourself. Molly, thank you. No problem. Now, let me have your worst. I can take it. Loser, ugly, four eyes. Ugh, you smell smelly. This is a hard job to have. Do you think you're the first bully I've ever come across? <laughs> I don't think so. I've been getting bullied since preschool. So nothing you say 
can bother me. I'm rubber and you're glue. And whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. What are you in preschool? <laughs> really? Maybe. Smell this! Uh oh! Ew! Gross, you little brat! <laughs> Molly, you didn't have to do that for me. That's what friends are for, and honestly, they don't really bother me that much, Alex. They're just rude. And I think that they just, I don't know, think that they could feel better about themselves by being mean to other people. But it really just shows that they have really cold and cruel hearts. You never, ever want to be a part of the baddies club. They're just rude villains. Well, thank you for being such a good friend to me. I mean, seriously. I didn't know what to do when I had to come to a new school. I was really scared, and well, you've been a really good friend. Hey, no problem. I have another idea, too. What, eat pizza you pulled out of your pocket? Ew. <laughs> I'm saving that for later because it was so good at lunch today. Mm. Want some? Uh, no. I'm okay. I don't eat any pizza that was stuffed in your pocket all day. Ew. Yeah. A little bit of the cheese stuck to my leg, but you know, I don't care. Um, Molly, what are you doing? I'm texting, uh, Cece. What? What? She's a part of the baddie club. Uh, why are you texting her? Because <laughs> I'm pretending to be her crush, Lucas. <gasps> Molly. Hey, if she can be a baddie, so can't I. <laughs> Meet me here in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now, what I need you to do is go over there and hide behind that tree and Snapchat this. Really, Molly? Are you sure about this? <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. Ooh. I'm all ready to Snapchat, Molly. Great. <laughs> today at lunch, I heard Lucas and his friends say they were going to play basketball at the park today. <laughs> Perfect. Lucas, hi. You wanted to meet me and talk to me? Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, very funny. I'm the leader of the baddie club, Cece Duh. <laughs> you can ask me to dance? Huh? You don't have to be afraid. Of course I'd go with you. What are you talking about? I don't want to go to the dance with you. I don't even know you. Uh-oh. There you are, Pookie Snooky Wookie Pookie. I, I was looking for you everywhere, honey. Who's this? <gasps> Is this your boyfriend? <laughs> what? No, this is just some dork from school. I don't know them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cece. We've been dating for six months. Ah! <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, sweetie. Let's look cute for the camera. Oh, my God. I'm mortified. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I got it, Molly. I Snapchatted that. <laughs> Looks like she's not the only baddie in town. Oh, Molly, you can be the leader of the baddies if you really wanted to. Nah, I don't really need to be bad. But it sure felt good to give her a taste of her own medicine for a change. I'm glad she's not going to bully you anymore. Pretty sure she is going to be hiding in her bedroom for at least a month. Thanks, Molly, for sticking up for me. No problem, Alex. <laughs> ah, baddies Club, look out. There's a new baddie in town now. Uh-oh. chocolate chip cookie. I, I, I don't want the raisin cookie. I want, I, I want the chocolate cookie. Molly, wake up. You didn't take out the trash last night like I asked you. It's making the entire kitchen smell terrible. Yeah. Oh, what? what? Okay. Okay, I'll be right there. Molly, I mean it. Get out of bed and take care of the trash. That's your job. Okay. 
Okay, fine. Uh, okay. I'm up. I'm awake. Uh, uh, too early. Too early. Uh, ew. What's that smell? Oh, yeah. That must be the trash I was supposed to take out last night. Oopsie. Ugh, what's in here? It smells disgusting. Yuck. Okay, trash pandas. Are there any raccoons out here? Because I got some tasty garbage for you. <laughs> oh, look who it... Oh! <laughs> Molly, is that you? Man, you're so ugly. Your parents put tinted windows on your crib. What? <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> you're so ugly, you made an onion cry. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice. Have you looked in the mirror today? <laughs> Man, you're so ugly, you give Freddy Krueger nightmares. What? That's so rude. Oh. <laughs> Man, you're ugly. Yeah, I got your I got your message loud and clear. Oh my god. Why was he being so mean to me? Is there something wrong with my face? Ah! I look like I look like a pizza exploded on my face! Ooh. Where did all these pimples come from? Oh, ew, look at this one! Ew, ew, pop it! Pop it! No, Molly, don't pop it. Don't do it! Just go to the store and get some pimple cream, and everything will be okay. God, uh, I hope no one else sees me. I'm gonna have to put on a disguise or something, because I don't want anybody to see me like this. Ugh, I feel so yucky! Uh, that's better. No one's gonna recognize me like this. There you are, sleepyhead. What are you wearing? I need to go to the store, and I need some money. What? No, I just gave you your allowance yesterday. Yeah, but I already spent that on something else called Robux. But I have an emergency, Mom. I need to go to the store. What? Are you out of toilet paper in your bathroom again? Don't worry, I have some extra rolls. Mom, no! I, I just, I can't talk about it. It's embarrassing. You can talk to me about anything, sweetie. And also, I'm not giving you money till you tell me what's happening. Mom, come on! Look closely at my face. Whoa! Molly, what happened? My thoughts, exactly. What happened to me overnight? Some sort of, some sort of evil mutation of my face. Oh, Molly, you need zit cream. O-M-G. You know what we used to use it back in my day? Toothpaste. <laughs> it was a free remedy, by the way. Mom, I'm not putting toothpaste all over my face. No, really, it does. It dries up the pimples in like a week. Everything's all gone. A week? Mom, are you kidding? Some guy told me a bunch of ugly jokes this morning when I took out the trash. He goes to my school. He's, he's going to tell everybody I look like this. Uh, okay, Molly, I'll give you like $30. You can pick up some stuff at the store. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Okay, I just need to get in and out real quick. Hopefully no one's in here shopping this early. I don't want to be seen like this. Things I need to get rid of my pimples. Um, well, these potato chips are really important. Not to get rid of the pimples, but because I feel terrible and I want to eat potato chips. Hairspray, paper towels, laundry soap. Where's the scent cream? Oh, God. Don't tell me they're out. No, you have to have zit cream. My life's gonna be over if I don't get rid of these pimples. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, what can I do for you? Um, I was wondering if you had any zit cream. Pit cream? Oh, why do you have really smelly armpits? Uh, we do have some extra strength in the back. No, 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 no. Not pit cream, zit cream. Oh, for pimples! Ah, could you have said that any louder? Everybody in the store is going to hear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have some in the back. It just came in. New shipment and all. Okay, I'll go get you some, okay, honey? Ooh, looks like you need it real bad. Gee, thanks. Hold it right there. Huh, what? Me? Yeah, you set off the alarm, so I'm going to need to look inside your bag. What? Uh, no, I didn't steal anything, officer. Um, I, I, I just need to go home right now, and, uh, yeah, I just need to go home, like, right now. Sorry, but it's our policy that we have to check everyone's bag if the alarm goes off. Now show me what's inside your bag. Uh, everyone in the store is looking, though. Can, uh, we just not? No. Would you like to be arrested? No. Why would you arrest me? Well, because I don't know if you stole something or not until you let me look in your grocery bag. 
Um, let me just try going through the thing again. Maybe it won't beep this time. Ugh, why didn't you take the security label off my sick cream? Hold it! Oh, okay, fine. Oh, okay. It's just zit cream. No big deal. You need to pay for this, right? Let me see your receipt. Oh, how humiliating. Time to get rid of these pimples. I hope. Ugh, this smells kind of funny. Well, here goes nothing. Say goodbye, ugly pimples. I'm about to have my baddie makeover. Marley, I have to go to the bathroom. Could you get out of there now? Dizzy, I'm busy. Molly, I have to go. Molly, let your sister go to the bathroom. Mom, this is important. She could use the other toilet. No, I can't, Molly. It's broken. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Molly, let her go to the bathroom. She has to go. She could go down to the store and go. Molly, that's like three miles away. Let her go to the bathroom. Holy guacamole. What happened to you? It looks like someone made pizza on your face. Ugh! Daisy, just hurry up! Uh-oh, Molly's grumpy. She's got pimples. Even my sister is teasing me. Ugh! The girl at the supermarket recommended this thing to me, but it looks really weird. Let me read the back so I can see the directions. Put nozzle over pimple and it will suck it off of your face. What? What kind of craziness is this? Oh, that feels so weird. Oh, wait, I think it's working. There, my pimples should be gone. What? This thing cost me a ton of money and it didn't work. What a piece of junk. Time to call in some reinforcements. Watch where you're going, loser. Nice pimple face. Oh, look at that baddie. She was so pretty. That's it. I'm going to be a baddie. I'm going to be the baddiest baddie you've ever seen. Oh, my God. Did you see that girl outside? Oh, she is terrifying. Ugh, she talking about me? Yes, girl. I'm talking about you. Get yourself into this salon and get a makeover. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, Molly, for an appointment with Debbie. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> uh, so you got your appointment last minute? Yeah, why? Is Debbie not good? Oh, I'm sure Debbie will be just fine. You'll see. Uh, how many star reviews did she get on Google? Oh, girl, anything's going to make you look better at this point. Oh, thanks, Betty. Mm -hmm, yep, sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm here for my, um, uh, my hair highlight and also um, I could really use some new extensions. <coughs> Do you have an appointment? No, of course I don't. I'm a baddie. I don't need an appointment. This girl got an appointment? Well, I mean, she has a pretty sad case. She probably needs the appointment worse than I do, but... Hey, are you Molly? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I'm Debbie. Oh. Um. G. Come on over and sit in my chair. We'll see what we can do to make you real pretty. Um... I'm not really sure uh, you know how to make someone look pretty. What? I've been a hairstylist for 30 years. I know every trick there is in the book, including how to get rid of those pimples. Um, if you say so. Oh, boy. I think this day's about to get worse. So, uh, what brings you in? Um, how about the fact that I have pimples all over my face? Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is the worst, isn't it? That's just a part of being, well, human. Yeah, I guess, except for she doesn't have any. That's because I'm, like, so perfect. Yeah, we can all see that. So, sweetie, I'm just going to put a little bit of toothpaste on your face, all right? What? That's what my mom said to do. Yeah, well, she's right. Toothpaste will dry up those zits real quick. You just watch. She said it would take a week. Nah, you have to use the extra strength whitening. That'll fix them right up. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, 
That one right there's a juicy one. So much better. Now, let's see what we can do with that hair and makeup. Oh, girl, you're gonna look like such a baddie when I'm done with you. I hope so. Um, why don't you ever make yourself up as a baddie? Oh, <laughs> I'm too busy taking care of everybody else in the salon. I don't really have time to do my own makeup. Oh, yeah, I bet you're really busy. Oh, look at that. You look amazing. Now let's do your hair. Girl, you're perfect. Now go slay in some new baddie clothes. Really? Are my pimples gone? <laughs> your pimples are non-existent. And your baddie is turned all the way up. Wow. Thanks, Debbie. I guess I really underestimated you. No problem. Can't always judge a book by its cover now, can ya? No, you really can't. I'm about to show the world my bad side. All right, let's see. What would a baddie wear? Um, uh, ooh, cute. But no. No, not baddie enough. Definitely not baddie enough. Ooh. Um, oh my gosh. This is the first time I've been a baddie. How do I know how to be a baddie? These are pretty perfect. And let's see. What else should I pick? This is pretty cute. Yeah, look at me. I'm adorable. Wow. I mean, I'm not adorable. I'm bad. I'm so bad. Wait a minute. This outfit is not bad enough. I gotta be a. I gotta be a super baddie. An uber baddie. Yeah, slay, girl, slay. I am the best baddie in Roblox. Whoa. Who are you? Beat it, bacon hair. Fine. I quit Roblox. Whoa, who's that girl? New baddie in town. That's right, and don't you forget it. Oh, I hope she'd go to the dance with me. Not a chance, loser. Look at you in your Hello Kitty pajamas. I don't think so. Is that how a baddie's supposed to be? I think so. OMG, baddie, look at you. You're slaying it. Do you want to be a part of our baddie club? No. <laughs> Unless I could be the head baddie. Um, well, that's my job. Well, look at you in your shark. What are those shoes? Slippers? I don't even know. You do not get to be with the popular boy, and you do not get to be head of the baddie club. That's me. <gasps> um, uh, can I still be in the club, though? Yeah, except for I'm the best baddie in Roblox. Oh, look at you. You think you're the best baddie around? Yeah, because I am the best baddie. Who do you think you are? I am the oldest baddie ever. I am amazing at being a baddie. <laughs> Not as amazing as me. Why do you keep, like, changing your clothes? You trying to prove something? No, I don't need to prove that I'm the best baddie. I think you do. I think you don't even really know how to be a baddie. Yeah, look at this shirt. And look at this one. Uh, that was the same shirt. You probably wore that yesterday. Loser! Well, what about this one? This one's cool, right? No, also loser. I have the matching pajama bottoms. Ah, you're not wearing any clothes. What are you doing? Well, I was just trying to show you that I'm the best baddie around. There's no baddie like a Molly baddie. <laughs> <laughs>exactly are you doing right now i'm uh studying yeah that's it are you really studying uh well uh not really i'm just watching brooke high pretending i'm studying molly you're gonna fail that test tomorrow well what's new <laughs> molly do you want to repeat the graduate holy guacamole not really well you're gonna if you don't stop actually studying now turn off the tv Okay, Miss Bossy. Ugh, my sister thinks she's perfect at everything. No, not perfect at everything. Just most things. <laughs> Who wants to read Shakespeare anyway? Boring! Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Who is that? Ah! It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I already saw you, so don't try running away. Oh, man, it's Sarah. Well, I guess you have to let her win. Come on in, Sarah. 
What are you doing here? It's not like we're friends or something. Oh, well, I'm doing some studying. <laughs> you don't want to come here to study. I'm terrible at studying. Yeah, she really is, Silva. No one asked you. Okay, rude. Uh, just so you know, you're in my house right now, so your rudeness level should be at zero. Yeah, your rudeness level should be at zero. Well, I came here to study, uh, you know, a loser. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're the loser, Molly, so I'm here to study you. Can you believe her right now? She just came into my house, Daisy, and she's being super rude. Actually, I wouldn't put this past Sarah at all. It's sort of a personality. So, uh, why are you studying a loser? Not that I am one. Well, it just seems like you losers actually have friends. And, um, well, uh... And you don't have any real friends at all? Oh, you noticed. Yeah, of course we did, Sarah. It's not hard to see that you eat your lunch by yourself. Except for those cronies that you make eat lunch with you. Yeah, are they even your real friends? Uh, well, uh, not really. Look, I need a genuine real friend in my life. I'm kind of lonely. Really? You're admitting this to us? Yeah, but I'll bully you if you tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I can't figure out why I don't have any friends, so I'm here to, like, study someone who has real friends. Wow, I guess it's sort of a compliment. Don't take it that way. Hmm, how could I help Sarah figure out why she doesn't have a genuine friend? Hmm, hmm. Don't mind my sister. She always paces back and forth when she's trying to figure something out. I got it! Okay, what is it, loser? I have a magic potion that'll shrink Daisy and I down, and we can climb inside your ear and go into your brain and see why you don't have any real friends. Say what? Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, Sarah's kind of negative. We might never find our way back out of a brain. Are you for real right now? Yeah, my sister is a scientist. She figured out how to make the potion. Uh, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. It's a great idea! Now sit down and don't worry. I feel like I'm like a science experiment. That's because you are! Daisy, go get the potion. I mixed it with a shamrock shake from McDonald's because St. Patty's Day is coming up. Plus, those are delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to drink that! Is this a potion or like a treat? A little bit of both, Sarah. A little bit of both. Okay, here goes nothing! Glug, 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 glug. Okay, Marley, you have some. I don't feel anything yet. Give it a minute, Molly. Give it a minute. Whoa, I'm getting smaller. Holy guacamole, I feel so small. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, look, Daisy. I think we're at Sarah's house. Whoa, her mom drives a Ferrari? That's amazing. Right, Molly, what's this all about? I mean, I didn't think Sarah was so rich. Well, she does wear designer clothes. Look, my mommy's home. Oh, I haven't seen her in a whole week. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, honey. Just got back from Hawaii. What an amazing girl's trip it was. Mommy, mommy, mommy. It's so good to see you. Whoa, Sarah's totally different, Molly. Yeah, she really is. When she was a kid, she wasn't grumpy at all or mean, it seems. Uh, I guess it's good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks, Mommy. Um, guess what? Today on my spelling test, I got a 99. And I didn't even have a grown-up to help me study. Isn't that amazing, Mommy? No, it's horrible. Why didn't you get a 100 on your test? Ugh, you're such a disappointment. Go to your room and study harder. Oh, okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Wow. Sarah's mom is, well, mean. I know. That kind of broke my heart, Molly. Sarah was nice. Some other things must have happened to her to make her the way she is. Look, Molly, it's the first day of school. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, you slept in till noon. <laughs> Oopsie! Mom, Mom, it's my first day of school. I'm wearing my new outfit, and doesn't my hair look cute? 
Ugh, look at your hair. I know, right? I spent a whole hour on it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Go brush it. Don't do it in pigtails again. Who's she being mean to about pigtails? Pigtails are totally fashionable and adorable if I say so myself. Okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you'd think that they would look ugly. I'll go brush my hair and do something different with them. <laughs> Ugh, kids are so annoying. You're the meanest mom ever! You're so mean! Molly, she can't hear you. This is one of Sarah's memories. It's not real. Well, I'm just telling you. You're rotten and you made Sarah into a bully. Whoa, Molly. I think we're going somewhere else. Whoa! What are we doing at the school at 6 o'clock at night? I don't know. Everybody else has gone home. But Sarah's still here practicing? Be aggressive. <clears throat> Why can I not remember this cheer? I'm never going to be a cheerleading captain. My mom will think I'm a total loser. All right, I have to be perfect. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -E -E. oh, I've got to try again. Whoa, see how I practice this much after school in order to be the cheerleading captain? Yeah, I had no idea. Seems like she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be, well, perfect. Whoa! Daisy, I think we're going someplace new! Whoa! These memories are making me dizzy! Hello, I have a appointment to get my hair and nails done, and they need to look perfect. Oh, yes, Sarah, I remember you. Remember me? I did your hair for the first time last time. Yeah, I remember, and one of my hairs was out of place, and I did not tip you for that. I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to let it happen again. Having perfection is pretty much impossible, though. Well, you better figure it out. Oh, look who it is, Sarah. Um, you feeling a little bit, uh, ugly and need to look pretty again? No, that's not why someone comes to the salon. I mean, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just here because, well, I need to have my nail fillers done again. So you're not perfect either. Oh no, I'm totally perfect. I was just saying that you have some hair out of place there and you look, well, a little under the weather because you have a pimple on your face. Wait, what? A pimple? No, I don't. Actually, dear, yes, you do. But don't worry, I can give you a nice exfoliation so you look better afterwards. Ah, a pimple? No, I have to be perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like maybe I'll have to take over as cheerleading captain since you have that hideous thing on your face. What? Just a pimple? I mean, I don't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, I was actually talking about your nose. Ugh, it's way too big. No cheerleading captain can have a nose like that. What's wrong with my nose? My nose is fine! I, I, I am perfect! I'm totally perfect! Holy guacamole! That was a crazy trip through your brain, Sarah! Yeah, no kidding! No wonder you're grumpy and a bully. Whatever. Can you tell me how to have a friend? Like a real one? Um, yeah, we can think about that. Uh, I'm really sorry about your home life. Seems like your mom is really judgmental. Yeah, she expects me to be perfect, so that's exactly what I am. Perfect. Your mom seems really self-centered. And, like, she doesn't really care about anybody but herself. Rude! Yeah, tell me about it. My mom at least makes me pancakes and stuff. My mom's never made me a pancake in her entire life. She is pretty, well, selfish. Yeah, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well... You know, it is what it is. Whoa, I think I'm growing again. Whoa, that was weird. Tell me about it, Molly. When the potion wears off, it feels strange. Hey, Sarah, I have a, I have a solution to why you don't have any friends. Oh, good. Tell me how losers have friends. Well, that's just the thing, Sarah. We're not perfect. Sometimes we are losers. Sometimes we have pimples or a hair out of place. Sometimes we don't make cheerleading, Captain. Sometimes we get detention, but we're real. We don't act like robots. We don't act perfect all the time. We are genuine human beings. Wait, what? People actually like you because, like, you're losers? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're human. 
So basically, I just have to try to, like, be a mess in my life and people will like me. Yeah, exactly! Just like Molly, everyone's a mess. Everyone loves her because she's a mess. Daisy! <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Sarah, we could be your friends if you want. That is, if you stop bullying us and, you know, be a decent human being. I'll have to think on this, losers. But, um, this was weird. And don't tell anybody at school you got inside my brain. Uh, no, trust me. No one wants to know anything about your brain. And Sarah, you don't have to be perfect. You could be just yourself. I'll think about it. Bye, losers. Okay, that was the weirdest Wednesday night ever. <laughs> you're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. I can't wait to tell my mom and dad and sister about this. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Mom, dad, mom. Oh, hey, dad. Molly, what are you shouting about? Yeah, I'm watching Hospital 911. Anyway, how was your day? I should ask you that, right? Because, like, you're definitely more important than Hospital 911. Of course I am, Dad! I know, I'm just kidding. Sometimes I get really involved in this TV show. Molly, stop jumping on the couch. Jeepers creepers, how many times do I have to tell you that? And, dear, you can watch Hospital 911 later. Oh, he's so obsessed with this show. Okay, fine. You can turn it off. Oh, that pains me. Dad, seriously. You want to know about this amazing thing that I'm going to be doing? Really? You have something amazing that you're doing? <laughs> Does it have to do with going to school? Because that would be a good thing. Yeah, I'm trying out for the cheerleading squad. Wow, honey, that's a great idea. You could be physically active and get some exercise and you could make new friends and you could be a part of school activities. Yeah, I think this could be a great idea. Thanks, I'm really excited about it. Wait a minute. You're going to sign up for the cheerleading squad? That's right, Daisy. I think it's going to be amazing. Okay, girls. Well, I think you both would be great on the cheerleading squad if you wanted to join. Molly, you've never been interested in any school activity except for maybe school lunch. <laughs> school lunch is delicious. Well, except for when they put pickles as sides. Ugh, dill pickles, gross. Well, Molly, I'm just saying, are you sure that you'll cut out to be a well, cheerleader? What do you mean? I could be a cheerleader if I want to be a cheerleader. Uh, no, I'm not saying you can't be a cheerleader. Of course you could be a cheerleader. I'm just saying, um, maybe it's not a good fit for you. Well, what is a good fit for me? Detention. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you have detention a lot. I can do more than just have detention. Girls, are you fighting again? <laughs> I know it'll make you happy. Come watch this cat video. No, Dad, we're not fighting. Exactly, Molly, we're not fighting. I'm just trying to say maybe you'd want to sign up for, I don't know, tree climbing club. Yeah, that sounds cool. Dizzy, I already know how to climb a tree. I do that all the time. You know, I even built a tree house. Exactly, that's why you'd be perfect for tree climbing club. No, I'm signing up for, for cheer squad, and that's the end of it. Okay, Molly, okay, but what made you want to do this so badly? Well, it all started when... Oh, man, I forgot to study for my science test. Oh, well, I can, I can cram right here next to the locker. <laughs> I'll cram the knowledge in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hello, you're in the way of my locker. Oh, sorry. Oh, you kind of hit me with your, your locker door. Oh, uh, well, you should probably just, like, get out of the way, and that won't happen. Wait a minute. Are you a new student? Uh, no, I've been going to Brookhaven High for, well, over six months. Nah, you're a new student. <laughs> so you've got to be. I I know everyone that goes to this school. Uh, no, I'm telling you. Uh, we moved here, well, over six months ago, and I've been going to school here ever since, me and my sister Daisy. You must have just been invisible. What? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You're just totally invisible. Like, no one could see you like a ghost. Um, okay, if you say so. But I, I think everyone else could see me. Well, I couldn't see you until right now. Ugh, besides, maybe if you want to, like, be seen and be popular, you should consider being on the cheer squad. Seriously? Are you wearing the cheer squad outfit? Yeah, because I'm on the cheer squad. Duh. I'm popular. 
Um, okay. Um, well, I, I guess I could try out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you try out for the cheer squad. That's funny. But you just said I should try out for the cheer squad if I want to be seen and popular and, and stuff. Well, yeah, that's what you need to do. But <laughs> you'd never make it because the moves are really hard. I think I could. Thanks for the great idea. Um, I got to get to science class right now because... Um, I'm gonna be late and I can't fail the test either. So I gotta try to cram some knowledge in before the test starts. What? I can't even hear you. I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there at practice at six. Okay, see you there. Okay, thanks for the great idea. And that's why I decided I wanted to be on the cheer squad. Molly, I'm not really sure that's a good reason. I mean, Sarah's was like, well, a bully. Ah, uh, she's also popular and she's not invisible. Molly, are you sure you don't want to do something else? Detention? I'm more than just detention, okay? Nobody believes in me. Correction, I believe in you. <laughs> now you want to watch this cat video? No, Dad. I've got to practice. I'll show them all. I'll show them all. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be H-E-G-R-E. Oh, man. I messed up that part. Oh, this is much harder than I thought it would be. It's okay, Molly. Snap out of it. You've got to work harder if you want this. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get in the best shape of my life, and then I'm going to make it on this cheer squad. I may even be the cheer captain. Oh, yeah. some running i'm gonna get in super shape and i'm gonna make the cheer squad okay just 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 one more time around the block and then i will be done for the day because i have trained so hard oh, oh my gosh so much cheering so much working out so much dancing Hey, Molly, what's up? I just got back from the Bogo Barn. Doesn't my dinner look delicious? What? You seriously got yourself a burger and not me? I didn't know you wanted one. Daisy! Just kidding, Molly. I brought this for you. You have been working, like, so hard. Yeah, totally. Daisy, mm, that's delicious. Slow down, Molly. Holy guacamole. You're seriously going to get a stomach ache? Not even possible. Mm, this is so good. Mmm. Mm. Wow, you seriously ate that in like three seconds. <laughs> so, how's training going for your, for your super awesome um, cheerleading tryouts? Uh, it's, it's going really good, I think. I mean, I, I think I stand a chance. I don't know. Well, Molly, I'm super proud that my sister is so devoted to making this a part of her life. Because so far, you've just been devoted to pretty much uh, lunch and um, donuts and... Ooh, donuts. I love them. Molly, snap out of it. And attention. You're super good at that, too. Well, I'm good at other things. I just have to apply myself a little bit more. Like Mom and Dad always tell, always tell me. <laughs> well, I think you're going to be chill, Captain. Who are you talking to, Daisy? Uh, my sister, Molly. She's standing by heel. I don't see your sister. What, are you crazy or something? No, I'm not crazy. My sister is standing right next to me. She just got done working out. She actually smells kind of funky. Hey, no, I don't. Well, sorry, Molly, but you have been running and, and dancing and chewing. Okay, I think you got a bonk on your head and you definitely need to go to the hospital. Do you need to call somebody? Because I don't see anybody that you're talking to. Okay, stop teasing me right now, Sarah. I'm not teasing you. I think you've gone insane. There's no one here. Anyway, I have to go because me and all of the cheer squad are going out to the movies. It's going to be so much fun. But you wouldn't know what fun is because you're not a part of the squad. Bye. Daisy, oh my gosh. I really am invisible. Oh no. 
I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. I just wanted to be popular and then I would fade into being a ghost. Molly, you're not invisible. I can see you. Well, maybe that's because you're not popular either. And you're gonna turn invisible soon too. This is nonsense. If anybody's queasy, I think it might be Sarah. I don't know, but I've got to go practice more. Molly, seriously, it's almost time for bed. I need to do one more mile. Uh, one more. Molly, stop. You need to go lay down. Yeah, okay. I think you're kind of right. I am tired. <laughs> Molly, did you seriously just fall over and fall asleep in the driveway? Molly, get up. You can't sleep here. <laughs> Molly, come on. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to carry you to bed. <laughs> Must be amazing at cheerleading. Must be amazing. <laughs> Come on, Molly. You need to go to bed. You're exhausted. Uh, cheerleading. Cheerleading. Good night, Molly. So sleeping. It's too tired. Too too much. Too much sharing. Molly, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, seriously! You're going to be late for your cheering trial. What? Oh my gosh! I can't be late. I worked out so hard for this. <laughs> Molly, don't jump over the side. Dad, are you seriously still watching those cat videos? Yeah, I can't get enough of them. I stayed up all night. Oh my goodness, Dad! <laughs> You're obsessed with. I'm watching cat videos and hospital 911. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be life changing. I'm not gonna be invisible anymore. <sighs> Everyone on the cheer squad and at school is gonna say, There's Molly, a queen of the school. <sighs> Finally, I made it. I'm here at tryouts. They're having it at the gymnastics, um, the gymnastics building just because, well, gymnastics and cheerleading go hand in hand. Oh, I probably should get an outfit. Oh, which one should I pick? Whoa, that purple one is beautiful. Oh, I think I'm going to wear this, though, because it is the team colors. OMG! I'm totally ready for my tryouts. This is insane. I've worked so hard for this. Okay, I'm just going to do some stretching right now. Just try to get ready and uh, just, just get my mind set to try out. Uh, one, two, three. There, I'm all stretched out. Now I'm ready to try out. Hey, <laughs> excuse me, I'm getting ready for tryouts. Hey, Molly, you're trying out for the cheerleading team? Whoa, <laughs> good luck. Oh, thanks. Whoa, you can do cartwheels. Really amazing. Thanks. <laughs> I hope you can actually make the cheerleading squad, though. Why? Well, because... Woo! That's fun. I can't really hear you. You're bouncing around too much. Sorry, I, I'm trying to get ready for my own tryout, but um, the the team leader, the squad captain, she is really tough to try out for. Really? What's her name? Sarah. What? Sarah? Huh, it's probably a different Sarah. Huh, she didn't tell me she was the cheer captain. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oops, sorry. You farted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little nervous and I'm doing all these squats. Whoa, your backflips are amazing. Wow, everybody's so talented here. Oh my gosh, she just flipped over my head. I don't know if I can if I can compete with all these guys. I mean, they're all trying out for the team. Molly, is that you? Brookie? Oh, Brookie, did you hit your head? Yeah, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I've hit my head so many times getting ready for this cheerleading um, for this cheerleading tryout. I can't even talk. I'm so nervous. Wow, Brookie, I didn't know you're trying out. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be amazing. I wouldn't figure you try out either. What? Why does everybody think I wouldn't try out? I don't know. You just seem like you wouldn't be interested in being a cheerleader. Well, think again. I'm going to be an amazing cheerleader. I hope so, Molly. You're my best friend, and I want you to be happy. Oh, that's so nice of you to say, Brookie. I want you to be happy, too. 
When's, when, when do you have to try out? Soon, they're about to start. Attention, attention, everyone. Um, the tryouts are about to begin, so like, don't be loud because I find that really annoying. Whoa, I think Sarah's on the, wait a minute! Is that the Sarah I think it is? Yeah, she's the cheer captain. Oh my gosh. Brookie, you're the first to try out. Brookie, please come and try out. I'm ready for my tryout. <sighs> Ta-da! Yes, I nailed that. Um, yeah, you're not good enough to be on the cheer squad. Wait, what? You're joking, right? I've been I've been working on this for months, and and that was an amazing backflip. Sorry, but it was just boring. Like, everyone can do that. Why didn't you wow me with something else? I can try again. I could try something else. Ugh, fine. If you must, go ahead. Bored now. Really? A cartwheel? And a backflip! Sorry, you're not... You're just not cheer squad material. Next! <laughs> Brookie! Oh, no! Brookie! She didn't make the cheer squad. That's so sad. Brookie, where are you? Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry. I worked so hard for this. She's so mean. <laughs> Whoa, this is making me nervous for my own tryouts. She just seems, well, so mean. I had no idea Sarah was the cheer captain. Well, I hope you do better than I did. Yeah, well, at least I'm not invisible anymore. Invisible? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> I was just invisible yesterday. Really? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, Molly, I'll come cheer you on while you try out. I mean, that's the nice thing to do. Oh, Brookie, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry you didn't make it on the squad. It's okay, Molly, but I still want you to make it on because you're my best friend and I want you to be happy. You're a good friend, Brookie. You're the bestest of friends. Uh, Molly, where's this girl, Molly? Oh, it's my turn. Watch this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. I can do so many awesome things. Watch this one. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, Molly, you're doing amazing. You're pretty much one of the best tryouts ever today. I'm so excited for her, seriously. Nailed it. Did you just see her try out, Sarah? Wasn't that amazing? What? No, I've been calling for this Molly girl and she's not even here. I'm right here. I just did an amazing tryout. <sighs> what are you talking about? <sighs> I'm so out of breath from all that running and jumping and... Whatever. I guess she's not going to show up. Yes, I am going to show up. <sighs> I, I guess I'll just try out right in front of you then. Like right in your face. Oh, you're going to hit me in the face. What are you doing, Molly? Wait a minute. I thought you said you couldn't see me. What? Yeah, I couldn't, but now I can. And you're really annoying and you can't be on the team. Yes, she can. She's the best tryout there was today. You can't deny her from being on the team. Just because you wanted to pretend she was invisible. So you didn't have to put her on the team because she's better than you. Whoa, Brookie. <laughs> that was crazy you said that. Well, I, I mean, uh, I don't want anybody to be better than me. I'm the captain and I'm the most popular. Just admit it, Sarah. She gets to be on the cheer squad because she is amazing. I don't want to admit that. I don't want to. Sarah, you have to say I'm on the team. Fine, you're on the team, but I'm still the captain. Yes, I made it. Oh, but Rookie, I, I'm so sorry. I, I don't want to act too happy because you didn't make it. Are you kidding me? We have to celebrate. This is amazing, Molly. I'm so sorry you didn't get on the team, though. Don't worry, Molly. I'll get on next year. I just, I need to do a little bit more practice. But you're a natural. You're so amazing. Oh, you're a really great friend. I can't believe that Sarah pretended you were invisible just so she didn't have to put you on the team. She knew you were going to make it. I know, right? Well, I guess I wasn't invisible after all. Of course you weren't, Molly. Just because you weren't the most popular or, well, mean like Sarah doesn't mean that you're invisible at school or anywhere else. Being yourself is the best thing ever. Do you even want to be on the cheerleading squad? Yeah, actually, I actually think it would be kind of fun. 
then you should do it, Molly, but only for you. Don't let anybody else tell you who you should be or what you should do. Well, except for your teachers. They should tell you to do homework. Yeah. <laughs> they have that power over us, don't they? And attention! <laughs> but Molly, seriously, you just be you. Because you is pretty amazing. Aw, oh, Brookie. You're the best. Oh, I can't believe I have to go to the dentist today. I like going Molly because they give me a bright pink toothbrush. And one time they gave me a unicorn toothbrush. What? A unicorn toothbrush? How are you going to use that? You don't have unicorn teeth. Oh, Molly. <laughs> no, it was a toothbrush with unicorns printed on it. Whoa, that sounds so cool. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to go to the dentist now. Yeah, Molly. Besides, you brush your teeth every single day. So you're going to do awesome. Yeah, I know. But, oh, got to look both ways. Okay, no one's coming. Welcome to Teethies. Teethies. That's, that's a cute name. Hi, welcome to Teethies. Do you have an appointment today? Um, yeah, I have an appointment, but I really don't want to go. Molly, unicorn toothbrush. Okay, fine. I'm here for a checkup. Great. Well, I'm Belle, and I'd be happy to assist you today. I I need a cleaning. A cleaning? What? I thought you were just here for a checkup. Don't Molly, I'm going to get a cleaning, too. Okay, well, I'm going to go sit over here and wait for the dentist to come get me. Or, like, the dentist helper or whatever. What are you two babies doing here? What? Is that Sarah over there? Yeah, I'm here to have my teeth checked. Duh. But, but, ugh, you go to the same dentist as me? Yeah, why are you even at the dentist? You're a baby, which means you probably don't even have teeth yet. Okay, Sarah, um, yeah, that comment was just ridiculous. What are you talking about? You don't even have teeth because you're totally a baby. We have teeth, are you kidding? Look at our teeth, you can see them. Okay, fine, babies. Why'd you have to come to the same dentist as me? Um, because this is where our mom made us an appointment. Yes, yeah, so, uh, it's where we made an appointment. Now, if you can't be nice, please leave us alone. Fine, why would I want to talk to you babies anyway? Hey, um, are you guys ready for your appointment? Uh, yeah, why do you, ha why do you <laughs> have a guitar behind your back? Um, because I play guitar when I have my lunch break. Oh, that sounds cool. Well, um, I have my appointment card. Great. Um, why don't you come right this way? Uh, the dentist is not ready to see you now. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Dentist appointment. I'd rather be home, like, riding my bike or eating a snack. Going to the dentist. Blah. I hit my head on the light! Ugh. Already having a bad appointment. Hello, Molly. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, dentist. Mr. Dentist Guy. <laughs> you could just call me Dr. M. Okay, Dr. M. Well, I really don't want to be at the dentist right now. I'd rather be doing something else super fun. I understand. Lots of people are like, Ugh, the dentist. But we have unicorn toothbrushes. Okay, well, that makes it kind of better. I'm glad to hear it, Molly. Now tell me, have you been brushing your teeth? Yep, my mom makes me brush them twice a day. Once in the morning after breakfast, and once at night before I go to bed. Great job! How about flossing your teeth? Well, most of the time I floss my teeth. Um, sometimes I forget, though. Oh, that's a no-no, Molly. You have to brush your teeth at least once a day. But I'd like you to do it twice a day. Once after breakfast and once before bed. Wow, that's a lot of teeth flossing. I don't know if I can do all that. Well, at least aim for once a day, okay? You get lots of food and things stuck between your teeth. And ew, that's where the bad teethy bugs like to live. Well, Dr. M, um, yeah, that's kind of gross. Totally. So, um... How do my teeth look? Well, 
they look very healthy. I think you're doing a great job taking care of them. But some of your teeth are growing in a little crooked. Crooked? No! Yup, and that can only mean one thing. What's that? Braces! Braces? No way! I don't want braces! D where'd you go? Doctor? I'm out in the hallway getting your braces. No! I don't want braces! No! I'm gonna run away! Braces are super cool, Molly. You'll see what I mean once you get your braces on. Oh, no! Okay, Molly, I'm back. Go ahead and sit down in the chair so we can get started putting your braces on. Oh, I don't know if I like having the braces. I mean, you can't chew bubblegum. Well, no, you can't. But when your braces come off, you'll have perfectly straight teeth. Oh, man. Whoa, look how awesome your braces look, Molly. Dr. M, I don't know about this. Trust me, Molly, they're super cool. Ah, uh, but what if people are mean to me at school about it and call me Metal Mouth or something? No way. Okay, well, thanks for the braces. I gotta tell you that. Thanks for the braces. No problem, Molly. Now remember, you have an appointment in another month so that I can see how they're doing. And we can adjust them. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Totally fell down. <laughs> I was sitting in the chair too long. And then I've kind of, like, both of my feet fell asleep. <laughs> so when I tried to stand up, I was like, ugh. Uh, my mouth feels funny with these braces then. Ugh, it's so weird. Better go find my sister and see if she got braces. Molly! Hi! Whoa! Molly! Your face looks so different! What is it? Is it glasses? No. Is it... <gasps> you got braces! Uh-huh. Whoa, Molly, they're cool. Aren't you excited? No, I'm not excited at all about these braces. Well, Molly, I kind of wanted braces. Well, that makes one of us because I didn't. Um, I'm here to have my wisdom teeth removed. Whoa, she's gonna be, um, she's gonna have her wisdom teeth removed. Why? Those make you wise. Don't you want to be smart? <laughs> Molly. Well, I guess I get to go to school next. Molly, do the braces feel weird? Totally. But at least Sarah's gone. I really don't want to have to deal with her. Come on, let's go check out of this place and get out of here. Whoa, there's the babies, Molly and Daisy. Wait a minute, something about you looks different. No, it doesn't. Come on, Daisy, let's get out of here. Molly, wait, you're going the wrong way. Get back here, babies. I want to see what's different about you. Uh, nothing's different about me, Sarah, nothing. Yes, there is. <gasps> you got braces. <laughs> you look so silly. No, she doesn't. Don't pick on my sister. Stop it. I just think you babies look ridiculous when you get braces. Well, uh, the dentist said I needed them and that they're good for my teeth. So I don't know what you're talking about, Sarah. I'm talking about the fact that you have metal mouth. What? What did you say? I said you have metal mouth. That wasn't very nice, Sarah. <laughs> Molly, come back. It's okay. Molly, don't run away. <laughs> I'm never going to school ever again. <laughs> Molly, don't listen to Sarah. She would pick on you no matter what. Even if you didn't have voices, she'd pick on you about something else. She'll always find something to pick on you about. Because literally, she's just mean. She's mean. Why is she so mean? I'm not mean to her. Because Molly, she just feels bad about herself. So she's got to take it out on others. She doesn't act like she feels bad about herself. Yeah, but bullies always feel bad about themselves. And that's why they try to bring you down to their level. Don't let her win, Molly. I think your braces are adorable. Gee, thanks, Daisy. You're not such a bad sister. You're welcome, Molly. Now, come on. I think we've got unicorn toothbrushes with our names on them. Oh, my gosh. I forgot all about my unicorn toothbrush. 
Oh, here comes the little baby metal mouth back. Now I could really call you a baby because you're crying. Sarah, you are mean and I don't have to listen to you. Well, you don't have to, but you should because like I'm way more popular than you. I don't care if you're more popular. And I don't care if you don't like my braces. What does your opinion matter anyway? It only matters what I think about myself. And I think I'm awesome! There you go, Molly. That's the spirit. And Sarah, you, you're just mean. And you're not going to have any friends if you keep being mean. Well, I don't care. I don't care about friends. Okay, well, that's your loss. I'm going to go get my unicorn toothbrush. Yeah, I'm getting a unicorn toothbrush. Hey, to your fans. Thanks for coming along with me when I went to the dentist today and got um, braces. I think they're pretty cool, even though Sarah was picking on me about them. What do you guys think of my braces? Let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. I'll see you guys next time. Whoa, there's a cowboy in here. <laughs> oh, they're a big fan. Hey, that's so cool. I didn't know we had cowboys as fans. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. I can't wait till my friend gets here and my sister Daisy. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> I love the roller skating rink, even though I'm kind of bad at roller skating. But don't tell anybody, okay? Because I'm a little embarrassed by it. Hey, Molly, you ready to break it down on the roller skating rink? Oh, Daisy, you're so much better than, than me at roller skating. It's okay, Molly. Just have fun. Whoa, when did you get those skates? They're amazing. I just got them with my allowance. I really love them and stuff. I wonder when Brookie's going to get here. Probably any minute now, Molly. Hey, guys. You were right. She is here. Brookie. Hi. I'm so excited to be at the skating ring today. Me too. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> They're playing amazing music, too. So, should we go out on the rink? Uh, yeah, except for I'm I'm not very good at roller skating. Oh, it's okay, Molly. If you fall or whatever, just just know that everybody has to be a beginner at least once. Huh, I know, but what if somebody sees me fall and I look ridiculous? We'll probably just laugh. <laughs> Daisy! Well, it will look funny, Molly, but we'll, we'll be laughing with you, not at you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daisy. That makes me feel so much better. What's this thing? Whoa, that was weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, if I go over the edge, I'm totally gonna fall and everyone's gonna laugh at me. I'm so slow. Everybody else is going so much faster than me. Remember, Molly, you all have to be a beginner once. Wow, everybody's like doing all these cool moves and I'm just... I'm just skating, like, so slow. It's okay, Molly. You can do it. I have the best friends in the entire world. Even my sister is nice to me even not, about not being a good skater yet. <laughs> Look at Molly. She's, like, so slow. Why did she even bother roller skating? Uh, oh, Molly. Um, I hate to tell you this, but... But Sarah's here. What? 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 No! Yeah, and she's making fun of the way you skate. What? But why? Because you're so slow. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, Sarah. Um, yeah, I'm not that good at roller skating yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you're gonna fall over? <laughs> lame. Wow. Look at your skates. They're super lame. Wait, what? Wait, your skates are older than mine. Yeah, this is cool. It's called retro. Uh, actually, they just look rusty, not retro. Uh-huh, sure. Well, I can skate in any kind of skates, and I'm still amazing. Hi, um, Sarah, you seem like you're being kind of mean, and I'm a fan of all of their videos, so you should probably just leave Molly alone, okay? Um, I don't think so, Noah. Uh, hey, Molly, can I get a selfie with you? Uh, yeah, sure, if you don't mind me looking kind of, well, like a newbie on my skates and stuff. I don't care at all. Besides, I've just started learning to skate, too. I'm Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Uh, whatever. Uh, your fans are like the most annoying people ever. Sarah, that's rude. Don't say that. Yes, yeah, Sarah. That's so rude. Okay, I'm going to skate away from her because she's just being so rude. Hey, Molly, come down here on the fast lane. 
I don't know if she's ready for that, um, Brookie. She's, she's still new. I could do it. I could totally do it. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Look, she's skating the wrong way. Ow, you ran over my toe. Sorry. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going on the fast lane. Oh, oh this is terrifying. <laughs> look at you, loser. Actually, yeah, look at her. She's doing amazing. Molly, keep going. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. No, you're not, Molly. You got this. Just go for it. Okay, Molly, now try to do some dance moves if you can. I'm kind of afraid. You can do it, Molly. You can do it. Okay, here we go. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire at the roller skating ring. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire at the roller skating ring. Whoa, Molly, you're doing amazing. She's not that amazing. <laughs> that was the best skating I've ever done. I don't think so. I think it was pretty lame, actually. What are you talking about? It was so cool. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself right now. Molly, let's take a selfie because you did so awesome. Okay, I'm taking it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall, Molly. It's okay, Molly. I'll take the selfie. You just concentrate on balancing. I guess I'm not that good at it yet. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Molly. You're going to learn. You're already doing amazing. Whoa, Daisy, where'd you get those new skates? She just bought them. Aren't they amazing? Uh, yeah. Hi, Daisy. Oh, hi. Oh, look, more annoying Star Squad fans. I'm Hannah. It's nice to meet you, Daisy and Brookie. Oh, yeah, I met Hannah just a little bit ago. Hi, I'm here too. Do you remember me? Oh, my gosh. They're like mobbing everybody. They're not even that cool. You're just jealous because you're not a part of the Star Squad. Whatever. I'm in enough videos to be famous myself. Maybe one day I'll even make my own channel. Um, yeah. Who's going to subscribe to that? Everybody, because my channel is going to be so amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you're a fan, Hannah. That's amazing. Oh, um, is that your friend Sarah over there? Um, I wouldn't call her our friend since she bullies us. I wouldn't call myself your friend at all. You're not my friend. I'm not friends with loser. She's sort of like mean, right? She's not a friend. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Whoa, she has a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, I have my sister Daisy and my baby sister, baby Kira. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, sort of. If you don't think we're cool and you think we're losers, why are you still standing by us? Ugh, totally skating away now. Go, Molly, go, Molly, go! Go, Molly, go, Molly, go! Holy guacamole, Molly just jumped over that person. Oopsie, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I'm getting pretty good at roller skating. Um, Molly, I would say that you're no longer a noob. Really? Okay, yeah, I just ran off the edge. I'm still sort of a noob. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, once you start spinning, how do you stop, guys? Guys? Guys! Good morning, class. So, please take out your homework and um, we'll get started. Um, excuse me, Mr. Smith. I, I have to tell you something. Okay, Molly, why don't you let me know after we go over our homework? Um, no, I, I have to tell you right now. It's super important. My mom said that I need to tell you at the beginning of class. Okay, Molly, what is it? We're going on vacation tomorrow for a week! <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't have to do my math. Correction, Molly. You probably will have to take your math with you. No, no, no. I don't want you to have to do math homework on your vacation. That's no fun. Wait a minute. You losers get to go on vacation and I don't? That's right, Sarah. You have to stay here and do lots of math. Yeah, and we're going to be on a sunny beach just chilling out. Well, I should be able to go too. Like, I'm the coolest in class, so, like, why do the losers get to go on vacation? We're not losers, Sarah. We're super awesome, and we have to go on a family vacation, so, bleh. Uh, girls, please relax. Sit down, Molly. No fighting. 
Yeah, Molly, no fighting. Well, you sit next to Sarah next time. She's so annoying. Hey, I heard that loser. Okay, stop calling me a loser because I'm not a loser. I'm the one that's going on a beach vacation. Maybe you are the loser. What are you talking about, Molly? I didn't want to say, you know, loser because that's not nice, but... Maybe, maybe she's just acting like a loser right now. Are you calling me a loser? No, but it's not nice to be so rude, Sarah. We're going on vacation and there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see about that. Whoa, Molly, look at this resort. This is amazing. I know, Daisy. I can't wait to like have one of those shakes at the Shake Shack, go through the drive through Oh my gosh, there's a donut shop. Wow, Molly, is that all you think about on vacation is your stomach? No, Daisy, correction. It's all I ever think about ever! <laughs> I'm just on vacation right now, so I'm extra thinking about all the delicious food I'm going to eat. Well, Molly, come on. Let's go get in the water first. We don't need to eat first thing. Speak for yourself, Daisy. I'm going to go get a shake. Ooh, these look delicious. Okay, I looked both ways. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get hit by a golf cart. <laughs> Oh, hey there, how are you? Are you on vacation at the resort? Um, no, I, I actually just got a job here. Seriously? No, of course I'm on vacation. <laughs> Silly. Uh, I'd like one shake, please. Oh, I'm sorry, but our shake machine isn't working. What? N no, that can't be true. Are you kidding right now? Yeah, of course it's working. We're a shake shack. Duh. Mmm, this vanilla shake is delicious. Oh, I'll have a vanilla shake too. It looks so good. Um, you have to actually pay for it. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. It's okay. They'll be back, I'm sure. Because once they taste that delicious shake, they're going to want a strawberry one and a chocolate one. They're so good. Marty, are you done feeding your face? Come on, let's hang out at the beach. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ooh, this water looks so amazing. Yeah, let's get in the water! Whee! Molly, I love your bathing suit. It's adorable. Thanks so much, Daisy. I picked it out at the mall right before vacation. Ah, the water feels amazing. Unlike the water at home, which is currently freezing. I know you can't swim in any of the lakes or ponds or swimming pools at our house right now because it's still way too cold. But when you're on vacation at this amazing resort, you can. Absolutely. Ah, this is the life. Molly, come chill out. You can listen to some music, just hang out, and get some all in all. Sounds great. Ugh, this is a huge lake I had to swim back from. <laughs> ah, perfect. Seriously, Daisy, your bathing suit is a little uh, over the top. I love it. I think it's very stylish. Uh, if you say so, Daisy. Ugh. Hey, losers. What? Sarah? Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Oh, Molly, she's wearing the same bathing suit as you. Embarrassing. Um, I got in your suitcase so I can come along on this vacation. You did what? You hid in my suitcase? Yeah, it wasn't very comfortable, man. That was a terrible plane ride. Next time when we go home, you can get in the suitcase and I'll sit in the seat. What? No, you're not even supposed to be on this vacation and you copied my bathing suit. <laughs> Sorry, Molly, it's kind of funny. Yeah, until you realize that Sarah is now at this resort on the vacation with us. Yeah, oh, your seat is super comfortable. Get out of my beach chair, Sarah! I don't think so. Like, you're such a loser. You don't get to go on vacation. This vacation is officially mine. OMG! Ah, this is terrible! Ah! Molly, just chill out. It's just Sarah. She's not that bad. Okay, I know you're in vacation mode, Daisy, so, like, nothing matters and nothing can bring you down and whatever, blah, 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 blah. But this brings me down. She's wearing my bathing suit. She came into my um luggage, so she's stuck here with us. I mean, what, what hotel room do you have? Yours, of course. You guys can sleep outside. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think so, Sarah. Hey, guys. Welcome to the resort. Is there any um thing I can get for you? We have delicious fruit punch. Uh, no, thank you. Right now, we're just trying to figure out how this person came on vacation with us who's not supposed to be here. Ooh, it definitely sounds like you need a fruit punch with a little bit of cherry on the side. No, no drinks. Ugh. 
Whoa, you really need this vacation, huh? Super not chill. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna go get in the, in the water. I mean, that'll probably help me feel better. And then I can think about what to do with Sarah. Ugh. <sighs> Out here in the middle of the lake, it's just so peaceful and quiet. And there's no Sarah anywhere to be found. Oh, Molly. Can you come here a minute? Uh, no. Swimming away. Swimming far away from her. Oh, she's so annoying. I can't believe she followed us on vacation. Who does that anyway? Only Sarah. Sarah the bully, that's who. I'll just go to this other side of the beach and like chill out. Ah, <sighs> that's much, much better. Yoo-hoo! I was wondering when you're going to get me my lunch. I'm starving. What? No, I'm not paying for your lunch. Well, you invited me on this vacation in your suitcase. What? No, I didn't! You invited yourself! Well, anyway, I'm here now on your vacation, so I expect you to buy me something for lunch. Absolutely not! Oh my gosh. I'm going to run back to the um, hotel room and just lock the door. I'm, I'm seriously going to lock the door. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> so much better. Peace and quiet. Who follows somebody else on vacation? Rude. Maybe I'll just like watch some TV and, and like chill out. Maybe take a nap or something. That sounds pretty vacation need to do. Are you going to get my lunch now or what? What? How'd you get in here? I locked the door. I have the key, duh. The people at the front desk, well, I just told them that I was on vacation with you and they gave me the key. OMG! You know what? You can have the resort room. I don't care. You can have all of it. Just don't follow me anymore, Sarah. Ah! Where's Daisy? How come she's not bugging Daisy? Daisy! Daisy! <laughs> what? Why are you yelling? Chill out. It's a vacation. Daisy, I don't know why Sarah's not annoying you, but only me. But it's getting, well, well annoying. Well, Molly, the reason why is because I'm not letting her annoy me. She only wants to annoy people that she knows she can annoy. Wait, what? That was kind of confusing. It's easy, Molly. Just pretend that she doesn't bug you and she'll go away. She enjoys annoying people. Oh, man, here she comes. This is going to be hard acting like I'm not annoyed. Oh, I see you didn't get my lunch yet. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, I was just relaxing, chilling out. Well, enough with chilling out and get my lunch. And also, I want a fruit punch. I'm super thirsty. Uh, yeah, maybe later. But right now, I'm just chilling. What? No. Why aren't you getting annoyed with me? Oh, I don't think you're annoying. I, I'm so glad you're on this vacation with us. <sighs> maybe you can get me some lunch and some fruit punch. What? No! I'm not waiting on you. What do I look like, a waitress? Um, yeah, you kind of do. I mean, you came on my vacation uninvited, so I just figured maybe you wanted a job or something. <laughs> Molly, you're making us so mad. What? No, I'm not on your vacation. You're on my vacation. Then why aren't you acting annoyed with me? Nothing can annoy me. Ah, I'm in my happy place. This vacation's so bright, I gotta put on my sun hat. <laughs> I don't like that you're not listening to everything I say. Oh, I'm listening to it. I just don't care because I'm so relaxed. Well, I'm just going to do an annoying dance in front of you. <laughs> it's super funny. Am I annoying you now? No, but you're making me laugh. <laughs> I'm glad you came on vacation if you're going to do these funny things. What? No! You're not supposed to enjoy vacation. The whole idea was to destroy your vacation. Well, good luck with that, Sarah, because nothing's going to destroy my vacation. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Dr. Smith reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm going to have a wonderful day. Ooh, it looks like Laura and Karen checked in to have their babies. Wow, it's going to be such a busy day for me. Hello? Karen, is that you? Ugh, there's not even a good view in this hospital room. It's so annoying. Um, Karen, why don't you come out of the corner so I can examine you and make sure that your baby is doing fabulous. Of course she's doing fabulous. She's my baby. Okay, well, I'll be right back when you have a little less attitude. Hi, Laura. How are you doing? 
Oh, hi, Dr. Smith. Oh, my stomach's really hurting. I think my baby's going to be coming any minute. You're probably right, Laura. Let me just take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you're right. Your baby is going to appear any minute. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Does that mean, oh, my stomach will feel better soon? Absolutely, Laura. Now, I've got to go check on Karen and see how she is. Karen, come on. I need to check your baby. Uh, seriously, I need to wheel myself out of the corner? What am I paying you for? Um, you're not directly paying me? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a long story with insurance and stuff, but come on, let's get into the bed and let me see how your baby's doing, okay? Fine, whatever. Ooh, cute pajamas, Karen. Of course they are. I'm wearing them, duh. Well, it looks like your baby should appear any minute. All right, don't get out of bed until your baby comes. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, but I can't wait to meet my little baby. Oh, I was wondering who was making all this noise over here. Oh, hey, K Karen. Uh, yeah, uh, my baby's coming. So is it mine, but I'm not whining about how much my stomach hurts. Um, okay, Karen. Um, everyone deals with pain differently. Oh, my baby is going to be so adorable. Like a million times cuter than yours. What? Don't bully my baby before it's even being born. That's just rude, Karen. I don't care if it's rude. It's a truth. Your baby's going to be ugly and mine's going to be cute. Karen, get out of my room right now before I call hospital security. You can't bully my baby like that. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen. Your baby is so adorable. Of course she is. She's mine. Would you expect her to be anything else but the most adorable baby in the world? Um, well, all babies are pretty cute. No, mine's the cutest. Say it, Dr. Smith. Um, okay. Uh, what are you going to name your baby? I'm naming her Sarah, the best name in the whole world. Okay, well... Uh, you take good care of Sarah. I'm going to go check on your next door neighbor because she's having a baby too. Uh-huh, sure, whatever. Hi, baby Sarah. We're going to rule the world. Oh, boy. I can tell it's going to be a very long day. Oh, wow! You had your baby, Laura! Yeah, she's so cute, isn't she? I love her so much. Oh, she is cute. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, you named her Molly. What a sweet name. Okay, Laura, I want you to get lots of rest. Don't worry, I will. Except for when my baby needs me. Oh, you're still here. Um, yeah, I just had a baby. Of course I'm still here, Karen. Duh. Uh, I came over because I figured you wanted to see the cutest baby in the entire world. Um, okay. Uh, my baby's cute, too. Uh, no. Your baby's ugly. Mine is cute. Karen! I told you to get out of my room if you're gonna bully my baby! Ugh! You're so... You're so frustrating! Whatever. I mean, you're just jealous because my baby's adorable! Oh, it's my first day at preschool. I love preschool. I love it already, even though I've never been here before. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a little, it's a little hippopotamus. I want to play with it. Give me that toy right now. I want to play with that. There's another one right there. You can play with that one. I don't want to play with that one. I want to play with the one you have. Now give me it. Get that back to me! That's mine! I wanna play with that! <laughs> You're such a whiny little baby. No one even likes you because you still poop your pants. <laughs> okay, Molly, you just you just have to be brave. Be brave! I can ask him to the dance. Sure, I can ask him. I can ask him. He's usually practicing in the in the gym. Yeah, because he's on the basketball team, so he has to have lots of practice. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. Oh, I'm so nervous. 
It's okay, I can ask him. Oh, H hi, Jesse. Oh, hey, Molly, what's up? Just practicing, because, you know, I've got a game on Saturday. Yeah, um, you know what's on Friday night, though, right? Yeah, the big school dance. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah, totally. Um, so, uh, I was wondering if maybe, uh... Oh, there's Jesse. What's he talking to that loser for? Hey, Jesse. So, excuse me, Sarah. I was about to ask Jesse something. Okay, girls, girls. Seriously, there's enough of me to talk to everybody. <laughs> oh, that sort of hit me. Sorry. <laughs> Never know what's ha gonna happen on the court. <laughs> so if you're out here, you gotta be careful. Okay, so anyway, are you done talking, loser? Because I have something I have to say. Sarah, I'm rude! What is it, Sarah? Uh, Jesse, since I'm really popular and a cheerleader, I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me on Friday? What? But, 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 but... Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Sarah. Sounds like fun. I didn't really have a date in mind, so, um, yeah, we can go together. Anyway, guys, I gotta get going because I have to drink, um, this awesome drink before I go to class. It's got, like, spinach in it and protein and stuff. It makes me big and strong for the game. See you girls later. And Sarah, pick you up at eight. Sounds good, Jesse. See you then. Sarah, you interrupted. I was gonna ask him to the dance. <laughs> You're funny. Like Jesse would ever go with a metal mouth to the dance. Metal mouth? Who are you calling metal mouth? You brace face. <laughs> oh. Well, it's another beautiful day in Brookhaven. Uh, guess it's time to get to work. Hey, who's that? Oh my guacamole, look at that sports car. That must have cost $300,000. Looks like they're coming in here. Well, I better get on my apron and get behind the counter. Hey there, what's up? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just recording this YouTuber. What? A famous YouTuber is coming into Brooks Diner? I hope my hair looks okay. Oh, it's good to be back in my old town. Well, really, not really. Wait a minute. Is that Sarah? Oh my gosh, she's a YouTube star now? Yeah, what, have you been living under a rock? Do you not even watch YouTube? Um, I don't get much chance to watch anything. I have to work a lot of hours in order to pay my rent and stuff. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. Jesse, are you getting this on film? Jesse? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. What? Uh, I just thought you wanted to be a famous basketball star. He did, but then he broke his ankle, so now he works for me. Leave him alone, okay? Um, Sarah, um, what are you doing back in Brookhaven? Well, right now I'm waiting for you to get me some breakfast, duh. Ugh, once a loser, always a loser. What? I I'm not a loser. I have a job. I'm a grown-up. I'm adulting. Not very well by the looks of it. Ugh, you gonna work here forever? Okay, um, it's okay. I'm just feeling a little... Sad that you're making fun of me and bullying me, even as adults. Ugh, obviously, we're not going to get any breakfast here. All right, Jesse, let's just get out of here. Uh, have I messed up my entire life? Sarah makes me wonder. I, r I really don't know. Well, I may be old, but... I still volunteer at the hospital every Wednesday and Saturday. I feel like the patients just need a friend. Oh, my back is killing me today. All right, let's see what patients are here. Oh, good morning, Molly. Oh my, it looks like you have a very achy back. Here, you want a shot for that? Oh yes, that would be lovely. Here you go. Oh, ow, that hurt! Yes, but in a minute, your back won't hurt anymore, Molly. Oh, wow, you're really right. Thanks, Doc. No problem, Molly. Let's see what patients I can be friends with today. <gasps> oh, my! Sarah, you mean the famous YouTuber who's been bullying my entire life? That's right. <laughs> she is kind of a bully, isn't she, Molly? Yes, but... Has anyone been in to visit her, Doc? No, she has no friends. No one wants to visit her. 
Oh, I see in the bed next to her, someone just had a baby. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, she has a lot of friends and family, though, that have been visiting her. So, I think Sarah's probably the one you need to see. Of course she is. Oh, no. Hello? I'm coming to visit you. Who's there? Ugh, oh, I can't even see you too good. Oh, um, it's your old uh, acquaintance, Molly. What? Molly? <laughs> oh, you're still ugly and a loser 80 years later. Excuse me, I had a little bit of a seizure there. I'm about to die. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. Perhaps I can sit with you and be your friend. No, I don't need a loser to be my friend. Look, Sarah, you've been bullying me my entire life, but I want you to know something before you die. Okay, what is it? Spit it out, Granny. I forgive you. I don't care if you forgive me. I don't care. Oh, Sarah, please learn this lesson before you die. You have been a real, real what? Um, well, bully, and it's not good. You should say you're sorry. You don't want to die with this on your conscience. Ugh, whatever. I don't owe anyone an apology. Okay, Sarah. Well, I just want you to know I forgive you. I'm... 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 What, Sarah? What were you going to say? I'm so... Oh my god, are you kidding me? She died before she was able to say she was sorry? Ugh, this is horrible! Well, looks like she bit the dust. I'll call the funeral home. Oh, well, at least she tried to say she was sorry for bullying me all those years. At least she tried. What? No, it's Saturday. Molly, it is not Saturday. It's Monday. No, it's not. It's Saturday in my mind. Forever. Molly, just because you think it's Saturday in your mind doesn't mean it's actually Saturday. It's Monday. Now, come on. We have school. Besides, Bookie's coming over and she's going to show us her new car. Wait, what? She got a new car? Well, it's her first car, so it's used, but... It's new to her, and I bet it's going to be amazing. She has great taste. OMG, I don't have to walk to school. This is amazing. Bookie's my best friend, so she'll give me a ride. Well, Marley, I haven't seen you this excited about school in, uh, let's see. Still thinking. Still thinking. Okay, I, I know the answer. Never. I've never seen you excited about school. That's not true. I love pizza day. Oh, brother. Okay, Molly, come on. I bet Pookie's here. Wait a minute, I haven't even brushed my teeth. You don't want me to have stinky breath, do you? Uh, no, I didn't do my homework. But if I breathe on you, I have dragon breath. You'll fall over dead and you can't give me detention. <laughs> Molly, hoovy it up. Sorry, I have to brush my teeth. I don't want stinky breath. Ah, there, perfect. Oops, I forgot to put my toothbrush away. <laughs> Oopsie. And I went the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I need some coffee. I'm not even awake yet right now. Molly, you don't even drink coffee. But if I did, I'd need a whole gallon of it. Is she here yet? Is she here yet? Is she here yet? No, Molly. Ooh, who's that with the purple smart car? That's adorable. <laughs> hey, guys. OMG, it's Brookie's car. Oh, my gosh, Brookie. I cannot believe you got this adorable little smart car for your birthday. Oh, it's perfect. 
It's adorable. I love it. Oh, thanks so much, guys. I love it, too. It's one of my favorite colors. Mine, too. Um, blue and purple are my favorite colors. Well, pink and purple are my favorite colors. So, um, yeah, this is amazing. Well, um, the only thing about my smart car is, uh, there's kind of only room for one person. Well, Daisy, I guess you're gonna have to ride on the back. I don't care, doesn't matter. You even have a cool license plate, Star Squad Brookie C. <laughs> Whoa, who's that in the limo? I don't know, but it's probably a movie star or something. Ooh, I hope it's somebody cool. Oh. It's, it's Silva. She's not a movie star. Hey, losers. <laughs> Where'd you get the little matchbox car? It's not a matchbox car. Sarah, it's Brookie's 16th birthday, and she got a new smart car. Well, it's not new. It's used, but new to her. Ugh, what an ugly car. Sarah, that is so rude. Don't say that. Ugh, if you were rich like me, you could take a limo to school. Um, okay, but we're not rich. And I love Brookie's car. It's adorable. Whatever. Only losers ride in used smart cars. If you're awesome, rich, and cool, you take a limo. See you at school, losers. Whatever, Sarah. We're probably gonna beat you there. Um, guys, no, I don't think so. My smart car doesn't go that fast. <laughs> I have to charge it. Oh, <laughs> well, it's probably faster than, like, riding our bike, right? Um, well, um, probably not. Okay, well, uh, let's just try this. We, we can go. Yeah, let's do it. I'm glad you're not going too fast anyway. Where's the seatbelt up here? Um, it's on the roof rack, Daisy. This is the weirdest ride I've ever had to school. But very scenic. Yep, very scenic. Wow, I love your new car. Yeah, except for Sarah said it's lame. Don't even listen to her. She is so rude. Yeah, I can barely hear what you guys are saying because the wind is going too far past my ears, like really loud in my ears. Um, but, uh, Brookie, something is really wrong with your car. No, it's just has trouble going up hills, that's all. Um, I forget what I was gonna say. Ooh, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> no, we're over that hill now. My smart car will be fine. Whoa, <laughs> you might want to have that looked at. No, seriously, I just need to charge it. Anyway, what I was trying to say to you, Bookie, is don't listen to Sarah. She's just trying to hurt your feelings to be rude. Hang on, Daisy! Whoa! Oh my gosh, big hill, big hill, big hill! Holy guacamole, this is like riding a roller coaster to school. <laughs> Daisy, um, next time you can ride in the car and I'll ride up there just because it seems like so fun. D don't run that red light, Brookie. Oh, Brookie, you're all over the road. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I, I'm still learning. Uh, well, if you run through a red light, my dad's a cop and he'll, he'll arrest you. No, we won't, Molly. He, he'll just give you a ticket and you'll have to spend all your money on it. Huh, thanks for the ride to school, Brookie. No problem. La, 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 la. <sighs> Time to go to my locker and get all of my books. I'll need this one, and this one, and probably this one. Molly, did you study for the big math test? Yeah, I actually did. She did because I was like, Molly, study for your test! And I just kept bugging her. Aw, you're such a good sister, Daisy. Even if you did have to annoy her. Ugh, losers, as soon as I walk in the door. How'd you get your locker right here, loser? Oh yeah, you're a baby. Only babies have their lockers right at the front door. If you're cool like me, you get to have it down the hall. I didn't think it mattered. Um, it's just a locker. <laughs> Whatever, losers. When you're rich, you can have anything you want. Um, I don't think so. I think you're just a brat. She can't hear you, Molly. She already ran away. Come on, we better get to math class. We don't want to fail our test. Ugh, don't make me sit next to Sarah. Oh, great. She's sitting behind me. I can feel her staring at me. She just seems so grumpy. 
What are you talking about? You can't even see my face. I just know it's that way. See? I knew it! I knew it! Oh, boy, little Molly. Try to concentrate on your test. Okay, class. Are you ready for your test? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the mall afterwards if you wanna come with me. Yeah, I have like I have like five thousand dollars to spend on new handbags and like some new clothes and stuff. Uh Sarah, please get off your phone. Yeah, I don't have to because I'm rich. Well, you could be rich in detention if you like. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. Molly, don't get involved, please. Okay. Okay, everybody, uh, I'm going to be handing out your tests. What I need you to do is not cheat. Okay, class, let's get started. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in an hour. Holy guacamole, would you eat beans for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I'm not taking this test. Here's $5,000. Just give me an A. What? That's, that doesn't work that way. You can't just tell the teacher that you're going to buy your good grades, Sarah. O-M-G. I can't believe that Sarah just tried to buy a good grade. And now her limo is leaving. Holy guacamole. Okay, class. I'm back. Oh, we'll have $5,000 on my desk. Um, Mr. Smith, that would be Sarah. She left it for you to give her an A. Oh, I'm going to give her A detention. <laughs> Are you going to keep the $5,000? No, of course not. That is not ethical. Well, can I have it? Because I'd like a new car. No, of course not. You can't have it either. Okay, well, can Brookie have it? Her car doesn't make it up hills very good. No! Okay. Molly, stop talking. You're in the middle of a test. Now, let me see if I can call the police and get Sarah back in school. <laughs> My dad's on duty at the police station today. Oh, Sarah, you're in so much trouble. So much trouble! Whoa, look at all the people at the water park today. Must be there some kind of party or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, sort of. Molly, why did you bring me here? Can I finally know the secret now? I mean, I'm glad you brought me to the water park and stuff, but I was just wondering if you could tell me, um, is there a party or something? Why are we here? Okay, well, the reason why I didn't want to tell you why we're here is, hey guys, um, are you guys here for Sarah's party? What? You brought me to Sarah's party? Sarah's a handle! I know, that's why I didn't tell you, because you'd never come. You're right, Molly. I totally wouldn't have. Well, why did you say that we were coming here? Um, because I wanted to come to a pool party. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, I think so, too. But my sister doesn't really think so. You are totally crazy, Molly. Sarah's party is not going to be fun at all. Come on, Daisy. Let's just give her a chance. Besides, we're at the par water park. It can't get any cooler than that. Um, yeah, Molly, it can get better than that. When Sarah's not there because she's always grumpy and rude. Well, Daisy, suit yourself, but you're going to miss out on the pool party, and it's going to be so sad for you. Okay, Molly, since I'm already here, I'll try it out. Whoa, what is that? It's like an island. What is that all about? I have never seen this at the water park before. Is that an actual character or like, whoa, I fell in the pool. Holy moly, what you got going on up here? This is weird. I think an island crashed down into the water park. He's a pirate, too. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Guys, today in um the Roblox water park, there's like, hey, what are you doing? Um, I'm the lifeguard right now. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to tell all of my fans that basically down there, there's like an island. I've never seen it before. Okay, but you can't be up here because you're not the lifeguard. Okay, fine. Hey, Chocolate! Um, Molly Nell? I didn't know that your last name was Molly Nell. Um, yeah, that's just my nickname. But my real name is Daisy. Yeah, my real name is, da is Molly. Um, I think you guys have a math class with me. Um, am I right? Yeah, we have math class with you, yep. Cool, we'll have fun at Sarah's party. Who is at my party that I don't know about? Oh, hey, Sarah. It's me, Molly. 
What? Why are you here? Um, you sent me a text that says, Hey, come to my party. Ugh, I didn't mean to send that text to you. I meant it to basically say, um, I need you to tell me what the homework problems are. Well, first of all, rude, you shouldn't cheat on your homework. Second of all, you should know that I'm not one to cheat from because I don't really do my homework. Oh, boy, I can see this party's gonna be interesting. Yeah, especially since you're not even invited, so go away. What? You're gonna uninvite me to the party now? Are you serious? Well, since I never invited you in the first place, yeah. Well, technically you did because you did send my sister a text that said, hey, come to my party, even though it was a mistake. Well, um, yeah, but you're uninvited. Um, I don't see your name on this water park. Thinking I'm gonna have a good time whether you like it or not. Yeah, we can be at this water park whether you like it or not, Sarah. Yeah, don't be such a hater, Sarah. Whatever, but I'm gonna tell my mom. Yeah, your mom's gonna be like, quit being a bully. Your mom's not gonna be okay with that, Sarah. Ah, this water's so refreshing. Um, you're not allowed to be at my party. Hey, Molly. Oh, <laughs> hey! Man, everybody came to Sarah's party. Too bad I wasn't actually invited. Ugh. Today's kind of, like, embarrassing. Because I didn't get invited to the party, and... I don't know, I just think that's so rude. Oh, she's still here. Okay, I'm gonna have to tell the lifeguard that you kicked you out of the water park. Um, you can't kick me out of the water park, Sarah. I paid the fee, and it's a public place. Not today. Today, I rented it for my party. And that means only people I want to be here should be here. Well, we want to be here. Come on, Silva. Yeah, Sarah, don't kick us out of the water park, okay? Well, hmm, let me see. Maybe I'll think about letting you go to my party. Um, okay. That sounds like she's thinking up some sort of evil plan. I wouldn't put it past her, Molly. She totally is a hater. Yeah, don't be such a hater, Sarah. Um, you can stay at my party if you don't talk to anyone. What? Including my sister or anybody else? Yeah, and you can't have any ice cream or cake. And don't talk to anyone. Um, uh, okay. You already talked to me. Stop. Same for you. What's your name again? Pansy. Duh, my name is Daisy. Jeez, get the flowers, boy. Hey, everybody, look, I'm wearing the same bathing suit as Sarah. Oh, my gosh. Why did you do that? Zero, I told you I was wearing this bathing suit. Oh, you're such a copycat. Um, well, I got this bathing suit like three months ago. When did you get yours? That doesn't matter. I only got mine a month ago, but... Well, then technically you're... Hey, shh. You're not allowed to talk. Okay, so Sarah's saying that her friend copied her, but her friend got her bathing suit first, so... Basically, Sarah copied her. Hey, guys! What's up? You guys aren't gonna talk to me? Ugh, Molly, Daisy, you're being so rude right now. That's because they are rude. Duh, they're such haters. Oh my gosh, we're not allowed to talk to anybody. And now they think that we're haters. Yeah, why aren't you guys talking to us? That's so rude. I didn't think that Molly and Daisy were gonna be so rude. Okay, I give up. I can't not talk to you guys. Ugh. Sarah told me I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody if I wanted to stay at the party. That's it, you're kicked out. Try to get me, Sarah. I don't think so. I can run faster than you. And I'm just going to go up to this slide and you'll never catch me. <laughs> I don't know why she's got to be so rude. Seriously. I'm right behind you, Molly. Yeah, no, you're not. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys. I need a cupcake emoji. Please leave me a cupcake emoji in the comment section below. I'm starving after running up this giant mountain to get to this water slide. Almost there. Almost there. I'm still right behind you and about to kick you out of my party. Well, I'll just get on this water slide. Don't go down that water slide. 
Why not? Can't go down it. You scared? You scared? Um, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, you're afraid of the slides at the water park? Why would you have your birthday party here then? Because this is the coolest place and I'm the coolest kid in school. Well, the coolest kid in school is also afraid of them. Slide, so see ya! <laughs> wow! Splash! <laughs> if I just go on all the slides, then I won't have any problems. Molly, did you get rid of Silva? I sure did, Daisy. All you have to do is go on the water slides because Sarah's afraid of them. What? Sarah's afraid of them? What are you talking about? Her party's here. Yeah, and she's afraid of the slides. Be quiet, Molly. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Yeah, ask her to go on one of the slides, guys. She won't go on it. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, just, you're just like a hater. Actually, Sarah, I think you were because you told Molly and Daisy they weren't even allowed to talk. That is just so horrible. Yeah, it's so horrible. Uh -huh. Okay, now where can I go down another slide? Ooh, this slide looks epic. Here I go, guys. I'm going to go down this huge slide. Whoa! 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 Whoa, I'm going down backwards. Oh, my gosh. Where am I going to go? Ah! Oh, my gosh. I'm still in the slide. I thought maybe I was in the pool right there. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! O-M-G! Oh! Oh, my gosh. I'm upside down right now. Oh, that's better. Hey, Molly. It's so cool you came to the party. Thanks, everybody. I really thought that you were just trying to be mean by not talking to anybody. You guys know me better than that. I can never stop talking. <laughs> hey, guys. So, Daisy and I totally kind of crashed a hater's um, birthday party today, and we had a blast. <laughs> guys, don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels. There's so many channels, but we have so much fun. Guys, look to the right of our YouTube page. You'll see all of our channels you can subscribe to. And, guys, we love you. You're the best fans ever. We'll see you next time. Bye! Molly, are you so excited to have ballet class again? Yeah, I'm totally excited. Molly, you're going the wrong way. What are you doing? I have to go in the grocery store. Molly, that's not what the ballet lessons are. Ooh, Doritos. Molly, shouldn't you eat something healthy beforehand? Mm hmm Like a Dorito. Molly, that's not healthy. How about an apple to fuel you? Okay, I'll eat the apple, but I have to eat the Doritos first. Mm. So good. Molly, you need to have a drink and be hydrated. And also maybe an apple would do you good. Oh, she's so bossy. Okay, how about this? I I've got some perfect fruit to eat. Very good, Molly. Mm. Molly, that's not fruit. That's a donut. Correction, Daisy. It's a blueberry donut. So, technically, it's fruit. No, it's not, Molly. A blueberry donut is horrible for you. Now, go eat some real fruit. What are you talking about? Blueberry on top of this is blueberry, right? No, it's probably not real blueberry cheapos. All I want to do is eat something that tastes delicious. Why you always got to be so mean? I just want to eat some Doritos. Molly, just because I love you, you really need to eat healthy. <laughs> I just want to eat a donut. Leave me alone. <laughs> Molly, you're totally faking right now. Okay, yeah, maybe a little. Okay, fine. I will eat a banana. Is that better? Hmm. I actually don't mind bananas. That's better, Molly. Now, come on. We're already late for dance. You gotta have proper fuel before you go to dance class. Daisy, look both ways, duh. Someone might have just run you over. Well, I had to get to dance class. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you can't get there if you're dead. Look both ways. Wow, and you said that I told you what to do a lot. Hey, guys. I was wondering you when you were gonna show up. You're kind of late. And ballerinas are never late. Sorry, we had to stop and eat donuts and chips. Molly? Okay, well, I had a banana too, so, you know, I balanced it out with something healthy. Ugh, Molly, I think you should start eating a more healthy diet. Maybe, but not right now. And one, and two, and three, and four. Very good, Daisy. Dance is our passion. We love it. That's what the poster says, anyway. 
And one. And two. And three. And four. Molly, are you seriously eating a donut in the dance studio while you're doing your, your ballet lesson? Um, nope. You're just, you're imagining it. Ah, donuts. So delicious. Molly! Okay, fine. No donuts. But would you mind if I ate some of these Doritos? Molly, you just ate something. Yeah, Molly, you just ate something, right? Hey, everybody. Oh, guys, welcome my new student, Sarah. What? Sarah? Sarah, you like ballet? Well, maybe. <laughs> if I can stay away from you losers. We're not losers. We're amazing ballerinas, see? Can you do that? Can you do that? Yeah, I can do it a million times better than you, actually. Oh, yeah? Prove it! Let's see it! Yes, yeah, Sarah. No one can peel wet like my sister. Um, except for maybe Sarah. That's right. <laughs> you think you're so good, but you're not. I, I always thought that I was really good. I I'm, I'm confused. I mean, I I I've always been one of the best ballerinas around. Not compared to me. I could spin like this for hours. You're just a bad ballerina. What? A bad ballerina? S s seriously? <laughs> that makes me so sad. Molly, show her your hip hop moves. You're super good at that. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Whatever. That's like the easiest hip hop move ever. I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> so much better. Whoa, Molly, she's got a point. She's really good at it. Wait, what? No, y y you can't be good at it. Okay, well, can you do this? Let's twist again. Let's twist again. I can also do backflips. Oh, yeah, well. Ah, why is everybody just saying mean things like that? I can't do it as good as you can. Molly, she, d she said that I did it. I can do a backflip, see? I can do a backflip, too. Yeah, well, I'm a much better dancer than you are. Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have eaten so many donuts. Oh, I don't feel so good. Marley, just stop doing the backflips. But if I stop doing them, then she wins. I already won. I'm a much better dancer than you'll ever be. <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I at the news station? Who cares? I'm just sitting here. <laughs> And we're on air in three, two, one, rolling. Wait a minute. Has anyone ever seen this news anchor before? Huh? What? Breaking news. Here we're with our new news anchor. Uh, what's your name? Uh, uh, my Molly. That's right. We're here with Molly and she's wearing her dance uniform. I don't really know why, but she's going to tell us the news. The news is that, that I, uh, I'm... I'm a terrible dancer! <laughs> and I just wanted to be a great ballerina! And I'm not a great ballerina! And it was it! Uh, who hired this news anchor? Uh, she's losing her mind on TV. I don't know why Sarah always calls me a loser! And I just feel so sad! Okay, let's get her out of here. Come on, let's go! Out of this, out of here! What? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take over your, your news station. It's just close to the dance studio. I needed a place to cry by myself. <laughs> Molly? Molly, where are you? She just humiliated herself in front of everyone on public television. Pretty sure she's never going to come back to a dance class ever again. Oh my gosh, I've got to hide. Okay, where could I hide? Where could I hide? Okay, I just hide behind this cabinet over here. No one will ever see me. Molly, where are you? Molly? Ma Molly, I see you. What are you doing? You don't see me! I'm hiding! Molly, I'm standing right next to you! I don't care, you still can't see me! Molly, what is going on with you? I mean, I sort of know. She said I was a terrible dancer, and I'm not as good as she is! Molly, you are as good as she is. Yes, Sarah's a great dancer, but she's also rude! And you're not rude, well, most of the time you're nice, and that counts for something. I don't know, I just, I feel sad because... I, I wasn't expecting her to be able to bully me about my dancing because I'm so good at it. 
You're still really good at dancing, Molly. It's just Sarah wants to, you know, make you feel like you're not because she's mean like that. But you can't let her win! Now come back to the dance studio and be your beautiful dancer self! Yeah, you're right! Why would I let her win? Exactly, Molly. Now come on. I'm the best dancer in the world! Sarah, you should try to be more humble. I'm going to dance like I love to dance. My whole heart loves to dance. Wow, Molly, that's amazing. Not as amazing as me. Actually, Molly is an amazing dancer. You both are. You don't have to be in competition with one another. That's right. I only care about my own dancing and making myself the best that I can be. That's a great attitude to have, Molly. You get a special star today for being an amazing student. Really? Do I get a star? No, Sarah, you were rude to the other dancers. You don't get a star. <laughs> That's amazing! Psst, Brookie, Brookie. Molly, shh. We're going to get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh. Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. G. that sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie, with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Do -do -do Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Kill some dance music! <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover! Having a sleepover! Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming! I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, it's just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly, everyone loves me. You should, too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we could do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at this sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? 
Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late, and, well, she packed a bag and everything. Uh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play truth or dare. What? Truth or dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the deals. Yeah, we're not playing truth or dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's going to valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway... I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? That you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and 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 and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and 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 and, and. What? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I I I, I take every word back. You feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine, I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream butter or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ch ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I... Wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town. Because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway. Truth or dare, Molly. Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you. Jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Only I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Polly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh, my gosh. Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly! Molly! Oh, my God. She's drowning. Help! I got her. I got her. Oh, my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare. Gone wrong. Oh, my God. I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. 
Oh my god, Molly, hold on! Hold on! She's fading! I think she's turning into a ghost! Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dale and chewed her tail and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead! Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You're to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but, um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost! What, 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 what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bookie? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly, Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god. My sister died playing Truth or Dare. <laughs> what? I died playing Truth or Dare? O M G! Brookie, Brookie, are you okay? Ow! Oh, there's a really mean kid here with a pool noodle, and he hit me with it. And I fell over. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Brookie, it's going to be okay. Here, let me help you up. Oh, thanks, Molly. I wasn't that excited about coming to the water park today anyway. What? Not excited to come to the water park? Why? Because I... I I don't want to tell you. It's embarrassing. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be okay, Brookie. The water park is amazing. You're going to see. Now, come on. Let's go put on our swimsuits. Oh, I don't know, Molly. Okay. Let's see, which swimsuit do I want to wear today? <laughs> I could wear some crazy hair, but no, nah, I don't need to do that. Let's see. This one? Perfect! Whoa, I love your swimsuit, but um, where's your hair? Oh, man! I accidentally X'd off of my hair! Oh, man, I deleted it! Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna just gonna have some different hair today. <laughs> um, Molly... You probably need some hair. Whoa! Now you look like a baby. That's not good. Um, how about blue hair? Who are you and what have you done with my sister? Daisy, it's me! It's me, Molly. Molly, seriously? You have blue hair now? What's going on? What is the world turning to? Molly, you never have had blue hair before. <laughs> I know, right? It looks so weird. I think it's kind of pretty, though. I like it. It reminds me of um one of those birds, you know. Uh, what are they called? Peacocks. That's what it is—a peacock. Yeah, <laughs> kind of does in the back. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, have fun going in the pool and stuff. You aren't gonna come, Brookie? No, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hang out here. What? Why? Go look at the pool. It's awesome. Yeah, watch this. Geronimo! Ah, that is so refreshing. Oh yeah. Oh, watch out! The guy with the pool noodles back. Why does he look like a yeti? He's a snow fox, Molly. Oh my gosh, he's shooting snowballs too. He's so rude. Molly, why don't you think Pookie wants to come in the pool? I don't know why. She doesn't want to go down the water slides either, but oh my god, there's um there's a bigger problem we have right now, and that's this pool noodle guy. I think uh Pookie is a real big problem because we invited her to the um to the pool today and she doesn't want to get in. Well, maybe she's just not feeling good or something. I'll go talk to her. Oh, I should have stayed home. I knew I should have stayed home. Boogie, do you want to have a conversation? Not really, Molly. Hey, ow! Ow! He threw me in the pool! Oh my gosh, you should get kicked out. I'm sorry, I, I was trying to have a conversation with you, but pool noodle bully there, he he got a little crazy. It's okay, Molly. I'm, I'm just going to take a nap. Take a nap at the water park? Are you serious? Why would you do that? That's so boring. I just don't want to go swimming today, okay? I don't want to go on the water slides or anything. Brookie, come on. You can talk to me about anything. Tell me what's going on. No, I can't, Molly. It's too embarrassing. I can't. 
I'm your best friend. You can tell me anything, I promise. Your secret is safe with me. Okay, I guess I'll tell you. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to hear a really juicy secret. You promise not to tell anybody, Molly? <laughs> I don't promise that. <laughs> okay, well, I really can't swim. What? Jiminy Cricket! You didn't learn when you were a little kid? Um, not really. Like, neither of my parents can swim, so they didn't know how to teach me. Holy guacamole! Brookie, oh, I could teach you how to swim if you want. No, I'm kind of afraid to learn. No, you shouldn't be because a water slides are so much fun. You will love it. If you learn how to swim, you can go on one. Yeah, I guess, but I don't know. I'm just embarrassed. I mean, I'm too old to learn how to swim. <laughs> What's this I hear about Brookie not being able to swim? <laughs> what a loser, baby. Molly, you promised you wouldn't tell anybody. What? I haven't even gone anywhere. How can I tell somebody? You you must have told her telepathically. Okay, if there's anybody I'm mentally linked to, it is not the bully Sarah, okay? But but how did she know? It's called eavesdropping, and she was eavesdropping. What? Okay, yeah, I totally was. <laughs> and now I know your embarrassing secret. I'm going to tell everybody at the water park. Now, where's my megaphone? Brookie can't swim. Brookie can't swim. Oh, Molly. I'm mortified. Brookie, it's okay. Lots of people can't swim. Don't don't pay attention to her. Come on, I'll teach you. No. <laughs> I should have never come here today, Molly. I should have never come here. Brookie, wait. No. Wait, I forgot my bag. I'm going to run this way and get in. And then I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, Daisy? Daisy? Molly, I thought this was Baby Kira, but no, it's a Baby Kira impostor. Oh my god, there's an imposter in here too? So there's a pool noodle bully, and there's an Among Us imposter? No, there's a Baby Kira impostor. She is pretty cute though. Yeah, she is, but definitely not Baby Kira. She's swimming in her pajamas. I do. Anyway, you're distracting me. I wanted to tell you Brookie Cookie just left the party. What? Why? What's going on? Well... I found out a secret that I'm not supposed to tell you. Oh, yes, yeah, Sarah well, already told everyone she can't swim. And that's why she left. Daisy, I have to go find her. Molly, I'll be right there. I just gotta say goodbye to this adorable baby killer impostor. Brookie? Brookie! <laughs> Molly, I tried to come with you, but the baby killer impostor followed me. Wow, the resemblance is quite striking. Her face just looks a little bit off, though. What are you guys doing here? Um, Sarah was a bully and was so sorry, Brookie. But we could teach you how to swim if you want. Yeah, we could totally teach you how to swim. No, I don't think so. I, I really don't. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Watch, I'll show you. It's so much fun. Molly, she doesn't want to go down the slide. I know, I'm going to go down the slide. I'm going to show her that it's worth learning how to swim. Oh, I think these slides are so crazy! Um, Brookie? Oh my god! Daisy, Brookie just slipped on some water and went down the slide. She can't swim. We've gotta hurry! Molly, get him, get him! Brookie, I'm coming! Whoa! Whoa, where am I? Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just die on the water slide? Um, that's not good. Better go find, better go find Brookie. <laughs> that was so much fun. Brookie? Brookie, is that you? Are you okay? Turns out, um, those lessons kind of stuck, stuck when I got them when I was a kid. Wait, I thought you didn't get lessons. No, I said my parents couldn't swim, so they couldn't teach me. But they did make me go to a few lessons. I was just afraid to learn. But, um, yeah, I think I actually picked it up. Really? So you can swim? Take that, Sarah. Brookie actually can swim. Yes, yeah, Sarah. Bleah. Um, But maybe you should just wear a life vest just for now. Oh, uh, no. I'm fine. See, I'm floating. She's doing great, Molly. Are you sure you don't need one of those lifesaver things? Molly, that's a candy, not a way to help somebody in the water. Yeah, those round tube things that they throw in the water. They're called, like, lifesavers. Nope, I'm pretty sure those are peppermint, and you eat them. 
<laughs> you guys are so silly. I could tell your sisters. Now let's go down more water slides. Sounds fun to 